to. They have already calculated all those things. It's already calculated from the federal. You know, they know that this man is not going to spend more than four years. And the power, uh, Shetima will take over. And the power will go back to the north. So this thing is already well uh, planned. You understand? So this Kaba have already whole grip on Nigeria. They don't want to let Nigeria go. The northerners. So that is what we are just seeing that is playing out right now. Nigerians, none of them should, Nigeria don't want it. None of them should go and don't let these people split your blood for no reason. Go and see the kind of military they just they, they put outside. This military, we have not seen them in Sabisa Forest. All those Fula and soldiers that don't speak English, they are ready to split the blood of Nigerians just because of this election. Why can't they send this military to Sabisa Forest? You know, so this thing eh, is Buari. Buari have, have already planned it and the and the APC Kaba from the from the federal. So Nigerians should just leave these people alone. Let them go with their with their mandate. You understand? Because what they are planning right now, anybody that tried to protest against this decision, they are ready to split the blood of Nigerians. Just like what they did in Ensas. You know, you see this military they sent outside during this election now when uh, 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 this thing, uh, Agbero were terrorizing people. This military were nowhere to be found. Just see, if they occupy the street now, just see what this military will do. They will come out from nowhere and start killing Nigerians. Hmm. So I just I just said, let, let there be peace. Let them go with their mandate. And all everything I've already planned, they know that Tinubu will not spend four years. You understand? Either he die or he will resign by himself. Then Shetima will take this power, he will take it back to the north. So it's worth plan and calculate. My brother, Nigeria don't Nigeria don't worth dying for. So Mr. Niger Wash, you have played your part. Evil men, this evil man will not let him go. So just that is just the truth. Even good Lord Jonathan, we were talking about Africa as a whole. I was I always tell you here, eh? Africans, Africans, black man, something is wrong with black men. I'm telling you. Even the uh, uh, this thing, Uru, 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 Uru Kenyatta, the former president of Kenya that went there for, for observation. They left uh, all those African leaders. When they get to Nigeria, the first as they went, they went to Tinibu's house. Even Gulo Jonathan, we're celebrating with, with Jonathan, with, uh, with uh, 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 this thing, with Tinubu in his house in Abuja before the, the resort. All of them were in Tinubu's house. All those Kaba, Africa Kaba, they have already celebrating this man, this man already before uh, this thing, decision came out yesterday. Eo Gulo Jonathan, that we said he's standing for peace, is one of the best presidents in Nigeria. This man was in, this, uh, uh, in Tinubu's house yesterday before the result came out with the rest African leaders. So, my people, eh? <laughs> something is wrong with black man. I always tell you this thing here. You understand? The one, one, one Kenyan guy also said the same thing. He said, this is what play out in Kenya, in the Kenyan election, and, yeah, uh, uh, in, in this recent election that they did in Kenya. He said, this is what happened in Kenya, the same thing. So, these people eh, is get together leaders. That's what we have in Africa. People will be, they will, they will, Nigerians will be voting. Eh? So Kaba will sit down as we plan everything. I let the people they have already, they are already choosing. So it's not by, it's not our vote. These people don't do it by our vote. They just frustrate the effort of Nigerians. Tell me, how are we going to convince Nigerians again to come out? And the girl that came out to go and make to go and vote that day, we are shot in a do state. That guy was killed. Just to go and just to go and vote for a better Nigeria. That guy was killed. If they did not deceive that girl with these beavers, maybe that girl would, would have said she would not vote that day. She would stay right. at, at her house. All right. Um, thank you very much, my brother. Um Please mute yourself if you are here with us. Mute yourself until you are called. If you unmute yourself, I'm sorry, I will remove you because it's disruptive. Thank you. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you again, uh, Nigerians. I want us to quickly go through um, 
the announcement, then we can start talking. Like I said before, it's pathetic, it's disheartening, it's painful, it's unacceptable. Um, let's take this, let's quickly listen to this. Our development partners, the representative of the Code of Conduct Bureau, observers from the Commonwealth and other election observation missions, the media, ladies and gentlemen. Not forgetting the president of the Nigerian Bar Association. It has been a very long day for all of us. So it is now time for me to perform two responsibilities. First, as the Chief Electoral Commissioner of the Federation and the Coalition Officer for the presidential election. And secondly, as the returning officer for the presidential election. I will now present the summary of results from the state of the Federation as collated from the submissions made by the state coalition officers for the presidential election. Total registered voters for the entire nation is 93,469,008. Number of accredited voters is 25,286,000. Six hundred and sixteen. The votes scored by each political party is as follows. A. Accord party, sixty-one thousand and fourteen. Action Alliance, AA. 14,542. African Action Congress, AAC, 14,608. ADC, Action Democratic Congress, H1,900. 19. The Action Democratic Party, ADP, 43,924. The All Progressives Congress, APC, 8,745,000. And 26. The All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, 61,966. Allied People's Movement, APM, 25,900. 61. Action People's Party, APP, 12,839. Boot Party, BP, 16,156. The Labour Party, LP, Six million one hundred and one thousand five hundred and thirty three. The New Nigeria People's Party, 
NNPP, 1,496,687. National Rescue Movement, NRM, 24,869. People's Democratic Party. Six million nine hundred and eighty four thousand five hundred and twenty. People's Redemption Party, PRP, seventy two thousand. 144. Social Democratic Party, SDP, 80,267. Young Progressive Party, YPP, 60,600. Zenith Labour Party, ZLP, 77,665. Total valid votes, 24,025,940. 20, Rejected votes, 939,278. Total votes cast, 24,965,218. We have the spreadsheet to be signed by agents of political parties. So um, may I invite the agents of political parties to please come forward and sign the EC8DA. So A court party, the agent of a court party. Party A. Must please resume your seat. Having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Thank you. So all that remains for us. Okay. That's all I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to say. Um, although, I'm sorry, I've seen it before, I've watched it, but it's better I bring it here for everybody to see um yes nigerians you all can see that iris Venice. good morning to you madam thanks for joining us good morning to everybody right there on the comment section appreciate you all mother of all i mean that's good morning to you good morning good morning good morning to you every one of you right there i really do appreciate you all grant thank you very much for the super chat and thank you for your message as well attached to it that is the only hope left right now um that we should leave everything um Yes, I, I trust Peter Obi, but but I trust I trust him, though there's a big but on it. There's a big but on it. Um this is presidential. I know he did it before in in, in Anabra, you know, uh, but this is presidential. You know what that means? These satanic people, they will put listen, Tinbu have been spending his money all this while. And the money not dry. Have that in mind. The money not be dry. 
Now, he wants to start spending Nigeria money now to fight case with you. Just look at the INEC chairman. There's nothing like remorsefulness on his eyes, his face, his speech, his body language. There is no interest. He went on, he went on, he went on to deliver it and announced Bola Ametinibu, President Elet. Atina Ambassador, good morning to you, madam. Thanks for joining us. It's sad. It's very, very sad. This, ah, oh God. All efforts. <clears throat> All efforts. For Nigeria to be better. All efforts for Nigeria to be better. Not for myself. For, for us to have a better country. All effort from all good Nigerians all over the world for us to have a better country. It's very sad. I'm going to repost the link again. Let me hear from Nigerians. Even though you are happy, join us. No problem. Tell us why you are happy. I put on the poll right there. Are you happy with I make decision declaring Tinubu as the president? Please click on that poll. At the end of this broadcast, I'm going to bring it here. If you also know that, because I understand that many of you are supporting Tinubu, you don't show yourself, you hide yourself, you are not even proud of supporting him. All through the election, many of you, you know, when they ask you who do you support, you choose someone else. So this is the result. You see that money they gave to you? The money will finish. Yes. Probably the money they already finished. Even though they pay you any amount, the money will finish. You will remember us. All the time we put into this. All the dedication. You will remember us. You will remember us that we put everything in to make Nigeria better. You will remember us that all I wanted was a better Nigeria. It breaks my heart. This breaks my heart. But I'm not regretting. I supported the good path. I fought a good fight. I supported the better person. They robbed us. I just want to say rest in peace to Nigerians that will die in this course in advance. Rest in peace. Because the decision you make today to choose this person as your next president, you have just murdered so many Nigerians. You have deliberately killed so many Nigerians. So I want you to consider yourself as a murderer. Henceforth, see yourself as a killer. It's sad. <sighs> this is sad. Hello, madam. Good morning to you. Please talk to us. Hello, good morning. 
morning, Nigeria Watch. Good morning, Madam. Talk to us, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's 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 really a, a very very dark uh, moment. I, I couldn't even go to work uh, today because uh, of how I felt about the whole thing. But the truth is, but the Please off your 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 TV, madam. You know the rules now. Yeah, right? I off have it. done that. Go I ahead. have, I have. So, like I said, uh, this is why he was very, very confident when he was saying, "I will win." This, this, this is because they already got it planned out. This explains all the confidence uh, behind the way he was he was behaving during the campaign. This explains it all. There is something that they all they, they planned out. It was, it was planned out. The APC planned it out and they rigged it and, and nothing is going to happen. It's sad. I'm not going to blame. A lot of Nigerians wanted a change. But of course, when evil is, uh, is, is out there, it, it's difficult to, 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 to stand against them. They have solidified their plans. And who can challenge them? It's sad. It's it's really really sad. Thank but you, there mother. are a few people that actually support this evil. But one thing they need to re they will realize is that when you support evil, there's a way it comes back to hurt you. Thank you, thank you, mother. Thank you so much. God yeah, bless thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Nigerians, this is where we find ourselves now. Although there's still hope, but the hope is so slim, very, very slim. It's very, very slim. The hope is to go to court. You know what that means? If I can be bought with $170 million, as you and I know that our judicial system doesn't work. It only works for the rich. So that's why I said the hope is very, very slim. This is sad. So does it mean this is how Nigeria will be forever? There's no way. Every other country that used to be bad, many of them try to fight out of it, and they are out of it. Nigeria, oh no. The painful part of it is that you see some Nigerians still supporting the darkness. As I speak right now, there are many Nigerians celebrating that Tinubu is going to be their own, their next president. Now you ask yourself, why are you celebrating, my brothers and sisters? Why? Why are you celebrating? Why? 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 It's sad. It's heartbroken. This is sad. It's really, really sad. All hopes are dashed. Many Nigerians that have been crying that they, they, they dream to move back home someday, all the hopes is gone. It's sad. Okay. Um, Joy Onduka Alozi, good morning to you. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. Thank you for joining us on the screen. Please unmute yourself. Talk to us. Good morning, Naja Watch. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Madam. Today is a very sad day for we all. My heart is broken. We have all worked hard for this country to become better. For those... Um, that has kidnapped the country. They said no. They don't want to see a good country for us. They don't want to see us smile. They don't want to see us come home and feel comfortable. It's quite a pity. It's indeed a pity. I, I'm, I'm, I, for the past how many days now, I've not gotten myself. And I, I, and I know a lot of us, not just me, thousands of Nigerians, I so my even worse in a worse situation than I am that I than I am right now. You see, 
this is i guess we all now know why they refused to free namdekano we all can now see why because had it been namdekano is free by now i guess hell would have been better than nigeria that's why they refused to let him go but all good i think we shouldn't lose hope yet we should hold on we should hold on we should give um, Peter Obi every support that he needs right now. We should let him know that we Nigerian youth are strongly behind him. Whatever decision he's taking, we are going to we are going to support him hundred percent. All of us, he has us. Ainek Chaman is so shameless to rob Nigerian youth. In broad daylight, he's so shameless. He might think he has won, but he has failed. He has lost his dignity. There is no Nigerian youth today, a well-meaning Nigerian youth that will respect him. He has lost it. He has lost it, or he thinks he has won. No, he has lost, big time. Tunubu. He wants to become a president by all means. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to be your president. My goodness. My goodness. And the world are quiet. Everybody are quiet. Everybody are watching. Follow legal process. You know, the most painful part of it all is that they, they will be oppressing you and they will tell you, you shouldn't cause violence. You should keep quiet. You beat a child and you tell that child, don't cry. Don't dare cry. This is the most painful part of it all. They beat you and they tell you, don't cry. Don't dare cry. If you cry, you're going to cause violence. If you cry, you're going to, you're going to cause chaos. Which people are really causing it? You want to bring war to the country. You are instigating war and you're telling people don't react. Keep quiet. You're robbing everybody and you're telling them keep quiet, don't talk. What kind of country is this? What kind of people are this? I've lost, I've lost, I've lost hope, but I'm still trying to hold it a bit. Let's see what will happen. Let's see how Peter will be and the rest will go. I know that we all know that the judicial system is being corrupted. There is nothing, nothing, nowhere, nowhere you can go and you get justice. But let's see how far Peter will be can go. If, if he doesn't, Thank if he doesn't... Um, Thank you. Huh? Thank you, Mother. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Let's hear from others. Thank you so much. I understand your pain. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. So I understand your pain. Philip Keynes, thanks for joining us. Good morning to you. Please, let's hear from you. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Ninjas. Thank you very much. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Yeah, very much. okay. Thank, uh, thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, I really want to commend you that all hopes are not lost because you are fighting a good fight for the betterment of Nigeria, and we all are fighting for the betterment of Nigeria. Thank you. And I believe that the God Almighty knows that uh, we have done our best. But there is one thing I want to make clear here. You see, the INEC chairman, we are all crying shouting is INEC chairman, INEC chairman, INEC chairman. Now, I don't see INEC chairman as the problem because this is my own opinion, because he's only doing his job. He's doing his job, like what you said, that they have given you over uh, 171 million, uh, how much, I, I don't really, I could not really um, uh, capture the figure you said, you know? So he's doing his job for his paymaster. 170. Yeah, $170 million. 
So you can see that this man is only doing his job. It's just like the police coming to arrest somebody with that is in Europe here. Yeah? No matter whether you are right or you are wrong, for you, you to be invited to the station, that is what you are doing. The police will tell you, look, we have sent to come and pick you, man. There is nothing I can do. There is no explanation. You have to obey the laws. So that is what the INEC chairman is doing. He's only doing his job. The major problem we have in Nigeria, I have said it right from the beginning, that the Fulani, they have adjusted the political terrain in Nigeria. We are the judiciary, the INEC, and the police, they have been compromised. Because why? We have not seen the change from the grassroots. So what makes us think that these people have changed? What makes us think that Buhari will work for the interest, the same people who employ all the sensitive position to Fulanis? And we expect the same people. They were playing game. They were playing game with money policy, with MFL. All this is a game. They were playing game just to distract Nigeria. Just to, for us to focus out of the system, to think, ah, look, these people, they are working, they are not doing that. No, they were playing game. They all knew this, like what you said before. It is well mastered plan. These are complete 419 people. They planned it. But I am not regretting. And I'm only regretting for we, this Nigeria, which is, we are the ones suffering this pain. Because whether you are celebrating, you are not celebrating, you are crying, all of us doing Torah. We are all Nigerians. We cannot change the country. So if no matter how we cried, no matter what we do today, we, whether the Tinibu, it work, oh, now we benefit. If you not see work, now we go see suffering. So don't say because you know, those that are celebrating, they are happy that our Tinibu have won. Listen to me. You are making a very big mistake. Because what we are fighting for, we are fighting for, for the betterment of good governance. If Tinibu tomorrow prove us to, to be to, to, to prove to Nigeria to be a good government, then we were also happy. So that is what we are fighting for. We are all in the same page. We are not enemies. That is why I am using this medium. And I'm also calling that look, riot is not the best way for Nigeria. It will cause a sadness for the people because we are already suffering. Then when we now take the laws into our hands, like what they say, we now go and riot and destroy properties. All these people, they're not, they're not the worry. They go fly out. They are politicians. They are playing games. They will not. Now, we be the people go suffer. Them. Now, what are we going to do? That is how we have to be very, very intellectual when it comes to these issues now. Because the police, as you see, they are ready to take. The Bayasas Police Commissioner of Police say anybody violate the law. He say go collect. Imagine that kind of word in a civilized country. Yeah, you understand? In the Nigeria. So now our body, now this police for the get power. So I neck the 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 Buari, Buari, Buari and Tinubu, they have already planned these things. They have already planned this thing. So, my dear brother, I want to tell you that look, don't regret your action. You took the right stage, the right pos uh, uh, direction. What you were fighting for is the right cause. But let me tell you, there is nothing we come out of this. Old thing like they talk about inquiry that they should go into inquiry, they go sit down, they go negotiate now. Look, let me tell you, I came from Delta State, I'm from Wari to be precise. Ogboru have been contesting election for good five times. Now, Ogboru don't contest election five times. What happened? PDC, PDP, PDP, we are rigging this man. They are hard, they take the right the results. What happened at the end of the day? He go to court, nothing will happen. They are the same people there. The chief justice of the federation, Fulani. What do we expect? So we are not going to get justice because the only justice is for them to be free and fair. What is not free and fair, it is obvious to the world. Even the international community, they are not talking. They are even commending the election. They are commending the election that the election was well conducted. Apart from the civil uh, society of Nigeria. So this is what they are doing is for us to be Nigerian that nobody, I beg, make everybody use brain for this issue to follow these people. Because those that have died in the course of retrieving their privacy, in the course of going to vote, they have lost their lives. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you so much um, for your submission. Um, I just want to give all and on Nigerians uh, the opportunity, those that is right here with us today, to add their views. Because at this particular moment, I understand everybody want to talk. So um, let me quickly uh take at least 
three calls as well before I come back to the panel. Hello, Madam, Madam Pam, Pam, uh, Pam Ago. Thanks for calling in. Good morning to you. Hello. Hello. Good please. Morning, good morning, Madam. Please talk to us. Yes, please. We should try as much as possible to leave our negative talk. Go ahead. The confusion. We can't hear Hello? you. We can't hear you. We lost you there. Go ahead. Are you hearing me now? Yes, yes. When we were debating about the constitution yesterday, instantly, when you tried, somebody tried to check another Chinese, they were they brought it out there. It's just like making a concern here. Yes. You understand? So on, yes, so we, we we have to be very careful when we are talking here. Since morning, all we've been hearing is this negative talk. We should just stop the canon, it will not win, the bill will not win. It will... No, the only thing is if we are a fighter, we will say yes, we will fight it to the end. No negative talk. No negative talk at all. We don't yeah, need but you, No, no, no. You, you can't everyone? tell people how to react. You can't tell people how to cry. You, you know, whoever that want to plan the way forward, that's not also a problem. People that want to express their frustration is not also a problem as well. <laughs> this is a dark day for Nigeria. You cannot expect everybody to think in one direction. <laughs> You know, so everybody, everybody are expressing themselves in a different way. A lot of people are frustrated. So they need people like you and others to lift them up from the current position that they find themselves. You can't expect anybody to come on air and say, yeah. guys, make could not worry, we go win. Win what? We should say it how it is. It's frustration day. It's a dark day. It's, it's the, a lot of people will lose their lives even before, if, if this is possible to retrieve it back. People will still die. Let's say rest in peace in, in advance. We, the, 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 in fact, I'm angry. We should say it, I raise. Yes. This is a broad day ro robbery. Another we can't, this is unacceptable. Yes, another thing they are planting in our heart now. You can see the whole, the whole people that is on power. They are Now they are training their children. You understand? Now they, their children, they now know that who get the vote by fire, by force. You understand? So what I'm trying to say is, this thing that happened is not the end of the world. It, for me, he, he has not won. He only went for the INEC chairman and his family and few people that is clapping with him. This one will give us more interest, not to just lose hope, no interest to really enter the politics. I remember those days. My father always said, "Politics is a dirty game." That is why most the of the situation us, right now, the situation right now, the more Nigerians poured out their frustration, their plight, their their pains, their disappointment. That is the only reason why, if even though the international bodies or any other bodies want to come in, they will come in. If everybody come outside and be speaking positive, positive, nobody will come to support you because you are already letting them know that you have the power to fight it yourself. We are frustrated. Express nobody, it naturally. Nobody is, it. nobody is doing it. Nobody, the way we're supposed to do it is before before the, the very, that very Saturday. You understand? That is why when I call out, that was the first thing. But all the same, I believe God has reasons for all these things. Maybe by now, more than 100 people would have lose more than 100 people. It will still come to our own favor without mm. any... I, hope, I do hope so. I really do hope so. Thank you, you know, so much, madam. Without don't lose anybody. Yeah. All right, no problem. Thank you, my dear sister. The, the, truth, the truth of the matter now is... Listen, guys. Like I said before, I'm already saying rest in peace prospectively to Nigerians that will lose their life on this. Not everybody you can control on this particular time. I pray many of them stay calm, but express your anger, express your frustration, express your, 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 your disappointments. Express it naturally. Don't hide it. Express it. The world is watching. They are watching us right now. They are listening to us right now. Express it naturally. Both negative and positive is allowed in your, in your expression right now. Express it. Be natural. 
Don't, don't fake it. Let the world see that you are frustrated. Jesus. Mr. Collins, please talk to us. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Niger Watch. Uh, happy new month. Um, good morning to my fellow Nigerians, uh, my son Niger Watch. I want to use this opportunity to thank my fellow Nigeria, more especially the youth that come out largely to vote because they did what they're supposed to do. They make sure that their candidate win, which they did everything possible. They did their work. Uh, this is the first time that the youth have come out in mass. This is the first time Nigeria ever saw this kind of election. People come out upon all the whole thing. They try to subdue them. They still vote. So I just want to thank them for coming out to vote, which is very important because a lot of them even travel. People went back home. People left their job. People do, they sacrifice a lot to make it happen. So, but nevertheless, we shouldn't lose hope. We shouldn't uh, maybe lose faith. One thing I believe that uh, um, our own joy will soon come. People may be starting now, be jubilating or whatever they want to do. I just want to assure my fellow Biden and assure my fellow citizens, the Nigerians, who mean well to the Nigerians, that uh, we should keep our faith alive and we should keep our fingers across. Um, the problem I have is that. Uh, Somebody said here yeah, that uh, we should not uh, protest or whatever. No, sometimes if we keep, we have to take kingdom of God somewhere by violence and only the violence take it by force. So sometimes he has to work hard. He has to do some certain things because he saw what happened in Sri Lanka. He saw what happened in Brazil. That is how they'll be able to regain their authority. That is how they'll be able to regain their freedom. Because if they folded their hands and went home and sleep and said, mm, maybe I don't think that they will get that result and they're able to achieve. A lot of people, even in in, uh, in in Hong Kong, people are still protesting. People are trying to make a change. So we can't just make a change by handing our feelings or maybe trying to... I know that people will be said everybody should remain calm, but remaining that calm, we should also make our voice to be here. We should let people hear our voice because at least we shouldn't go and destroy properties. No, that, I'm not calling for that. There is a many ways for us to protest. You can protest and people will hear your voice. So in doing that, you do it in peacefully. So I think that is one of the necessary things that even starting from Saturday, from Monday, Sunday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, that should have when Nigeria should have been reacting, you know, doing your normal protest. But then keep, you know, people were keeping quiet because going to court, I don't see looking at how the Nigerian institution is, looking at how Nigeria things have been running from day one. We know how it is. It's only in Nigeria that somebody that comfort becomes a governor of a state. So if that can happen in that Nigeria, shows you how the level the institution, I'm not even, I'm not having trust in Nigeria when it comes to the institution. I don't have trust in that because they have proven so many times that people don't trust them. It's because of the assurance that INEC gave to Nigeria that made people to come out to vote because people have lost faith in INEC from day one. But because of everything that INEC said, at the end of the people come out and they make disappointed. How are you sure that Nigerians are coming again to vote? How are you sure that they are coming? You know what it means to sacrifice for people to get them get them back to starting voting. They lost that voting since 2003. But for you, even a lot of people, this is their first time of voting. This is their first experience of voting when it comes to election in Nigeria. So after every sacrifice, people lost their life. Look at what they did to the copper members. A lot of people sacrificed a lot. And then died in this process, and you still want us to just go inside home and hide and say, okay, let's fold our fingers and let uh, let every no. The fight is not for Peter Obello. He may be doing his own way. I want him to be doing the one he's supposed to be doing. But with the youth, with the Nigerians, we're supposed to be doing our own part. We have a role to play in this. We don't need to stay in our room and say, okay, let Peter be. We throw Peter. No, we all have a part to play in this. While he's busy doing his own part. We also Nigeria because we look at if you go on the internet, you see the mood of Nigeria will show you how this election is. The mood of the Nigeria will show you that a lot of people we are disenfranchised, a lot of people we are denying of their vote. So if we keep doing this peaceful, 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 we are not going anywhere. We youth have to come out to make now because now the international presence are still in Nigeria. They are still in Nigeria. So if we can use this opportunity and make your voice be known. That will make a very big deal. But if we keep our fingers saying, mm, people, we can do it. And we know, but we also need to do our own part. So 
I urge my fellow Nigerians, we need to come out in anywhere you are. Like the other guy said yesterday, the the uh, the, the Labour Party uh, uh, youth president in Abuja said, it should go to every INEC office. That is what they want every Nigerian. I was expecting Nigerians this morning, wherever you are, people have to die for the country to be better. People died, even this America that people are growing today, people sacrifice their life. Even in this country we are, people pay their life for it. You understand? So it, it must give something for us to get where we are today. So in every way you know you can contribute, all we are asking is the main, because we, nobody's going to, miracle don't fall from, man don't fall from heaven anymore. You have to work for it. You have to demand for it. So I urge Nigerian citizens, most that the youth should come out. Even this morning, they're supposed to be, I was kind of checking, even I called my boy, I said, why are you people still sitting at home? I was expecting you people to move, go and march in any institution that you know that your voice are going to be here. March in that particular area. But Nigeria people are just keeping fingers and say we should allow Peter B to do everything. No, he's not going to do everything. He will do his own part. But we, Nigeria, are we doing our own part? That is the question we should be asking each every one of us. Are we doing our own part? Because we have to do our own part. We can't just fold our hands and say, okay, let's, we know how judicial work in Nigeria. We know how all these things are. We are not like we are strange in our own country. We know how things are work in Nigeria. So when people come out here and begin to say this, they talk as if they come from another country. We know the country we are. We know the country we come from. Things don't work the way we, we expect them to work. You have to make it, you have to take it by force. So Nigerians have to, this as in, that is why I say a lot of things happen in Nigeria. If things that happen in Nigeria happen to any part of the country, that country could have been raised. But things will happen in Nigeria, everybody will just keep quiet. No, we can't keep quiet. We have to come out and let our voice be heard. So if we want people to be to do everything, my brother, come back here four years ago. We still where we are. So we have to do our own part. We have to make people hear right. our voice because we're still very fresh now. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. All right. Uh, to Niger, good morning to you. Please, let's hear from you. Yeah, greetings uh, and uh, watch. And uh, greetings to everyone on the panel and the chat and, and the viewers. Um, yeah, interesting how they decided to announce it uh, at night when people yes. are asleep. At night, yes. Guilty consciences, isn't it? Well, uh, um, First of all, um, Tinubu didn't win the majority of the vote. This is probably the first time in Nigeria where the president didn't win over fifty percent of the vote. Even Buhari won over fifty percent. He won thirty something percent of the vote. And um, and if he is wise, if if this stuff is left, let's say Peter B goes on to um, acknowledge the result. Um, this is not a mandate to rule the country the way he sees fit. Over 60% of people didn't vote for him. And if he doesn't recognize that, he's going to find out the, the hard way when he gets into office. Um, the way the election has been carried out, given the number of votes that are involved, if the other parties feel something is wrong, they will let us know sooner or later. And I don't know what anybody has heard from Peter B. And because I think that's that's where you take your mark from because they are the ones that have the numbers themselves. They're taking the pictures uh, from the polling uh, stations themselves. The River State doesn't make sense to me. Wiki being able to turn a state APC doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand that because half of Igbo, half of River State is basically Igbo people. And um, they are also land connected to all the Igbo, um, all the Igbo uh, states. So it's very odd that just cut off and uh, River State turns. So there's a lot of things about the election that's questionable. Question is, um, does it amount to two million, two to three million votes that they claim that Tinubu has won by? Tinubu has been planning this for probably 20 years now or more. I don't know. I'm going to operate from the point of view that Labour Party hasn't challenged anything yet. If Tinubu has been planning this for 20 years or more, this is where preparedness meets uh, people that 
not ready for the team prepare on time. Because if you look at his campaign, the way they've been approaching this, they've been approaching this as a fait accompli. Anyway, right from the beginning, that's why he had so much arrogance. That arrogance, even till yesterday, he was still arrogant. He was like, what a great achievement, president. He just wants to be president. I've never seen anything like that, where you just want to be president, not about what you want to do. He, he, I, to just win something and say, you, you, the first thing he starts saying is how great it is that you won the election, you know, that it's a great achievement for you. He tells you that it's, a, it's his own personal thing and it's gone on for long. If if somebody like him, like, like we consider um, not the best leadership material, somebody that is unfit for office, is able to plan something for so long. We should be asking ourselves because sometimes I have to ask myself too because failure in winning also comes with questions and maybe sometimes um, accountability on our own side too because we had the best candidate he's younger he's a, he has better character and then it's not involved in uh, corruption all those things yeah, we had the best candidate and yet the, the 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 other guy still won one can argue that is because the, our candidate has not been around for long enough to be able to make a national impact. If the vote is anything to be believed, the, the massacre in the North was merciless. He, he had popularity there, that he had presence, not like he didn't have presence. He had presence, but not just enough to 25%. And that could be as a result of, because just he just showed up around uh, eight months ago. That's, that, that could explain that completely because if he was there longer, that number would be going up that he's getting. That's what I, I possibly uh, see from what happened in the North. Then what, when we look at the South, Aquaibom, Bayelsa, River State, they, didn't, they made it easy for it to happen too. So we ourselves have to look at it and say, what happened here? Because if you look at their own end, it's only Lagos that I was able to flip. And Lagos flipped by just about 10,000. That is such precise flipping, isn't it? He flipped by 10,000, while other states in the South-South flipped by more than 10,000 in his favor. Lagos, uh, the River State favored him more than almost 50,000 or so. Um, uh, Abelsa, I, I think, 20 or more thousand. So how is how did all this is happen the way they happen? It almost seems like somebody just wrote the the, the script for it to happen. Just, uh, please hold on. Um, someone want to respond to you? Omo yes, I want to respond to what you're saying. Hello, go ahead. Okay, good evening, everybody. Um, I know that um, everybody's we all you know have different emotions right now, but I just want to all just to be encouraged. The fight is not over. You know, be in your feelings as long as you want to, but don't stay there because we have a long fight ahead of us. Um, so, Mr. Two Niger, here's the point. Peter the Rock could be won with a landslide even in the north. There is no analysis to be done with regards to what he would have done in the north or what he could not have done in the north. How many votes he was able to gather or... Uh, there's so many people in the north that are crying because he because of this shambuli um, declaration that he did in the middle of the night. There's so many people. I had a live for seven hours today. Some of the people on the live, if they have time, they're going to come on Niger Watch and also say the same thing. So everybody knows that this mandate was stolen from Peter the Rockaby. Now. What we should be talking about is what strategy, what solutions we have in place to ensure that this man make people hear our voice, make it so loud, because we're dealing with demons. We're not dealing with ordinary people. We're not dealing with all this talking. We need to be spending the time strategizing, coming up with solutions. 
everybody in Nigeria, honestly, if they knew, what, if everybody was on one page, every, everything in Nigeria should shut down. Nothing, nobody should go to work, nothing. Because this is a clear, broad daylight robbery of our own mandate. We've worked for it. I spent hours. Everybody can attest to everything that they did. People did this election in, in sweat, in, 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 you know, blood and everything. So please, you know, I understand you're trying to analyze and you're trying to maybe look and see oh, what could have been done. There was nothing. That man covered every angle. Please, let's not do this to ourselves. This is not the time. The time to strategize and come up with solutions is what we need to do, i.e. protest. Protest in all the embassies that they claim they want to protest. Protest at home. Protest with your Twitter handle, your social media page. Hashtag Mahmoud step down. Hashtag cancel the 2023 Nigeria election. Make a lot of noise. We are all we've got. We do not have the time. We are all we've got. This is a time for us to unite and put any shoddy uh, uh, tribal, whatever differences that we have aside and stand united as a people. Please, this is not a time to analyze what we could have done. The man did everything that nobody else has done. Please, I beg you. Thank you. A lot of people are coming on the show with high emotions. People are coming on the show. I have a friend of mine who saw that Nigeria was, was like, she was very excited because she's been down, she's been crying all day people need to be encouraged nigerian watch needs to be encouraged everybody on the panel needs to be encouraged including yourself nigerian watch you spend nights on end coming to give your own solution so please we need to be on the streets right now we need to be yesterday i kept shouting we need to shut these people down but what do i know here we are so we need to get our freaking acts together, come together, protest, and make our voices heard and encourage one another because we're not happy today. We're not happy. We need to be encouraging and pouring into one another. That's what we need to be doing, please. And be thinking of how we can mobilize our people back home and make sure that they are catered for in case they need to go on a mass protest. That is what we should be discussing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Omar Thank, you, Thank you. All right. Um, should I just please round up? Yeah, so um, one has to um, protest in terms of uh, going to protest for um, and this thing, the scrutiny of the results. Um, if we are looking at about uh, 2.7 or 2.8 million uh, difference in the results, um, that is a massive difference in the result that P2B and uh, the Labour Party will be able to highlight if that was the case. And if it is not, this is something we have to be clear about. This is a democracy. We have to abide by the results. No matter how it came across, if the Labour Party has the proof that they, are, they had less vote than Tinubu and he won the election, then that is fair and square. Question is that the encouraging aspect is that one, most Nigerians didn't vote for him. Secondly, in the greater scheme of things, this is a small step in the direction to restoring, for me, the something that we lost a long time ago. We have not had the chance to develop. We have not had the chance to secure ourselves as a sovereign people in this world. This is that this election is a small step in doing that. That greater challenge, if anybody is to take an encouragement for it, realize that the greater challenge is a bigger one. Okay. That will encompass this government. Peace, stability gives us the chance to develop. If we fight, cause anarchy, destroy things, that takes us backward and puts us in more peril 
of our people jack barren our nation becoming more un unstable nobody will invest all that problems continue we've had it for 60 70 years and we can't keep going on like thank that you. thank you Tunaja. let me quickly hear from uh, uh someone on the phone hello uh good morning to you my brother Brett. uh Asamuta. please talk to us good morning mr ninja what can you hear me uh be audible please can you hear me now can you hear me yeah it's okay it's okay it's manageable but it looks like you're still far away from your device okay uh, good morning thanks for having me and good morning fellow nigerians and uh panelists and the commenters uh, as well um it, it saddens me um you know hearing the results but um I'm not surprised because uh, if you remember a couple of uh, weeks before this election, I did call your program and I, I, I asked the question that, uh, are we, what plan B do we have? What is our plan B? If yes. you remember, and I yes. said, we should, not, we, should, we should have a plan B. It was like, I was kind of negative towards the action of the people. You know, you have to have a backup plan. Now we are here. What is our plan B? Everybody's kind of quiet. So I'm not saying, don't be violent. Don't say anything. And, you know, as some are saying, oh, international bodies will speak about it, they will find anything to, you know, they will be. See, let us be factual here. Nothing is going to go on. There's nothing that will change. The only people that can change the situation right now is the people. It's the people that would vote, be on the street. I'm not saying they should be violent, but they can seem to, you know, make the economy stop working. Everybody should stay, stay at home. And uh, then let's see what happens because. If you are waiting for maybe United States or the British to do something about it, everybody is just for their own interest. By the time Tinubu is being sworn in as our president, they are going to come and uh, sign their deals and their, their, their bilateral agreements. That is what is interesting to them. As far as the country is not uh, in crisis, then the people go on with their normal uh, endeavors. So it, 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 they don't really have anything to say as we got this. It's we Nigerians that are supposed to say, well, this is not what we vouch for and this is not our president because the nigerians uh, the, the apc with the us. they i told you before that the issue of mfla the issue of naira policy the policy of the naira swap and everything it was all arranged it was all a game just to see the people's approach on what is going to tell after the election they started doing it gradually and started looking at the people who are they are going to revolt on all those issues. And they saw it that oh, it was going to be fine at the end when we put this result out there for the people. There will be nothing to be done about it. Look at all the evidence of people being shot by lost people smashed, uh, uploading errors and everything. Is that not enough for a blind man to know that the election was ringed? But you see that the president is not saying anything. Nobody is holding eye neck, and we are saying, oh, the president has been the president elect have been you know declared. And you know how Nigeria works. They are the people in power, they own the institution, the judiciary, the executive, the, the, they own everything. So even the Supreme Court has been compromised before now. We, we know everything. So who is going to fight for the people? Don't be surprised. The same PDP you are seeing are making arrangements with LP to you know push their force on this election that have been mismanaged. Tomorrow you will see, from next tomorrow, you will see the way the people are going to be swapping from PDP to APC. Now, don't be watching. Don't be watching as they are going to be moving. From PDP now, you see them swatching it because they are the same, they are the same coin of different sides. So it, it is the people, because it's not a matter of quietness. Uh, OB is not saying anything. What do we do? We have to, this is not the time to pray. My brother, we have been praying. I left Nigeria when I was 21 years old. Do you know how old I am now? So do you expect me to stay for another eight years, additional to my age now, okay. for blah, blah, blah? Okay. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's going to be difficult. We should, we, we should, we should start planning on what we're, we're going to do next because Nigeria has already gone. If Buhari was worse, I don't, I don't know what is going to happen when Tinubu is there. Thank you, my brother. You've said it all. To be honest, mm -hmm. I didn't even want you to stop. To be honest, you said it all. Uh, yeah. We can't be playing. Most of us are talking. Most of us are already forty something years of age. Some of us are talking now. We're already close to our fifties. Then imagine under eight years to your age. You're already 60, almost 50 years. Your, your time life is gone. What are you going? You're not going to root. Everything is gone. So you just imagine. And mm. it's going to, if Tumbu gets there, there's nothing going to make it that he will not collect his eight years complete. You are right. You are right. So, so people don't think of all these things. This is not the time to be in churches and be praying. Be praying God, God will do it. For the past 30 years. 
God will do it. God will do it. Let me tell you what. Happy new month this morning. I tell you, there's nothing like happy new month, my brother. Because everybody, this year, in, in, in many churches, you know, have their, their, their pastor told them that this year, 2023 is going to be a year of the greatness. And then, are we starting the year with greatness now? Oh, are we starting are liars. with greatness now? They are liars. So we should be truthful to ourselves. Peter will do it right with our hands. God will not send angels from heaven to come and help us. We are going to be the person that will help ourselves. Let no pastor anybody bamboozle you. We should be on the streets and shut the economy down. No violence. Just shut the economy down. Then you will see that the international bodies will be, will be interested because their cooperatives in Nigeria will not work. That is when they will be interested in saving you. By the time everything is working, they, they are not interested. They will not be interested. That's my submission. Thank you. Thank you, my dear brother. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, God. Hello. Um... Thanks for calling in. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling Hello. us from. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm calling from London. My name is Kester. Okay, Mr. Kester, please talk to us. Please be, be brief. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. Uh, to be very honest with you, I've, first of all, I greet everybody in the house. My own opinion about this issue, I'm not surprised about this result, to be very honest with you. Because, um, you know, once in about Nigeria, it just any party that is the ruling party, they are the cabal that is saying what happened, what's not going to happen, stuff like that. We all know that it will be won this election. So just forget about the international community, whatever. They are not doing anything about this thing. What Nigeria need now is to divide. That's it. Is to divide. There's nothing. Even if you go out there, protest and all that. I hear they will send soldier after everybody. I'm telling you the fact is Nigeria need to divide. It's too big for all these people to rule. That's just my opinion. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, call us. Hold on. Let me go back to the panel. Um, I like. Uh, let me go. Be soft, please. Be soft. Talk to us in five minutes. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah, very clear, sir. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, it's, it's a very sad thing that happened, uh, but uh, it was not surprising to me because uh, I knew that was how everything was going to go that way. That was uh, earlier before this time. I remember when I was on the show, I raised some concern. I was being objected, I was being resisted. Of course, I could understand all those shit, I understand, you know. Uh, but these are things that happened. So I wasn't surprised that uh, they declared Tunubu the winner. It's not surprising to me, you see. Uh, I don't want you people to have, um, to let your spirit down, you know. Uh, I want you to go, go do a research on the United States. How do they get their freedom? You think the United States was like this before? Do a research on UK. You think they just woke up and find themselves in a, and to become a, living a, a better life? How about France? How about Belgium? How about ben and Germany? Just do a research. Nobody's going to give you freedom, believe me. It's the people that will take their freedom. If you think that uh, Pirobi is going to go to court and he's going to get uh, justice, where in nigeria your president sacked, have you forgotten why he sacked a whole chief justice chief justice that you that's supposed to send president to the, to jail your president buari he woke up one morning and he removed a whole chief justice and nothing happened then if someone is going to come here to tell you that uh, you know oh we're put, putting our papers together to go to court to go prove you think this is a governor governorship election you're talking about president it's not local government this is presidential election pre, pre, you, you better understand the word p president presiding officer number one citizen of a country number one he decides whether you die or leave then a judge is going to sit down to say oh you know as 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 democratic as united states is even the court here refused to take cases of election, courts. 
court here refuses to take cases of election. You don't talk, you're talking to mafias. You're not talking to oh, they're not just ordinary people on the street. Oh, you're talking, oh, you know, just like me, you on the street. No, no. you're talking to mafias, politicians. These are mafias. So we shouldn't say. I don't like the idea when some people are saying people should not uh, uh, protest. People should, okay, oh, how do you want them to get their freedom? Oh, sit down, fold their hands, and expect God to come down from heaven and give them freedom? Is that what you're thinking? Okay, go to church so that um, God send uh, manna from heaven? It's, it's long gone. Manna ain't fall down from heaven anymore. So people fight for their freedom. People fight. People organize. That's what that's what we understand. What when, when you uh, when you do a research, go check what's called live local. So you're able to fight back your government if they don't respond to you. You place a demand. You place a demand. The issue, the only problem Nigerians have, they want to. You 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 fight according to the society where you are. For example, I'm not in support of you going to outside to protest with. Uh, with uh, with flags, I don't. I mean, I don't care about flag. You everybody going outside, you hold flag and we go protest. They just not a country where you protest with flags. They'll send you down the military. They will shut you down. I want you to think. How do you think Niger Delta? We Niger Delta. How do you think we're able to restore? We're able to fight for our freedom, for our right. How do you think we're able to do that? You you thought we did these things by mouth? We fought with weapons. We shut down government things. Shut down barracks. Go check it. We did stuff before government responded to us. So don't think you're going to sit down and expect a warm man to just do stuff. You just need to organize. Nigerians just need to organize. You don't really need much people. You don't really need much people. If you just have few organized people, believe me, they will do stuff the government will shake. The government will share. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, Chibuza Adi, good morning to you, sir. Please, let's hear from you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Niger Watch. For the, uh, uh, thank you, everybody listening. It's a sad day for every Nigerian, all the obedient family. Um, you know, uh, once a time I, I commented, um, I said that the 90% of Nigerians are not civilized. And the why I say so, because of, uh, I don't see the reason why people who doesn't understand the use of technology are now teaching people who are masters of technology. You know, you can see how ignorant this election and the people who conducted it the way, you know, they try to fool Nigerians. I will ask people question here in this panel. In, in this uh, panel, um, these beavers, Nigeria spend money to do. If at all this thing went go to court, is is it valid? Because INEC uh, INEC uh, chairman told us that these beavers should be used electronically and sure that our voting system should be transmitted electronically but now on the on the day of this election everything is uh, is manual this if this case goes to court court is it going to recognize it is it constitutional to use these beavers in a uh, is it constitutional to use these beavers in election this very election or is just uh, INEC, uh uh, comment. This is something I don't understand. Please, somebody tell me something. Is it constitutional to use uh, this device in uh, in in uh, this very election? Please, somebody respond to me. Let me answer it for you. Please, um, my friend, you you asked a you asked a question. It's quite simple. Beavers and the server cost Nigeria 350 billion naira. It was acquired purposely for election. That's why it was tried out at Anambra. It worked. 
tried out at uh, AKT. It worked. Now they do to give Obaseki second uh, tenure. It worked. Tried it at Oshun. It worked. Now everybody was looking forward to it for presidential election. That was why a lot of youths registered. That was why the INEC chairman assured the world at Chatham House that election um, um, uh, results will be uploaded immediately from the pooling unit. That is that uh, primary school where it was done or anywhere your unit is. So the perfect answer is Beavers was acquired for this election. But was it used? I leave you to that. Continue. Thank you for that. Yeah, but my question is, is it constitutional to use these oh, yeah. beavers? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Electoral this. I told you that yeah, I, I said something about the electoral uh, law. It was a law was specifically meant to incorporate beavers, the use of technology into our electoral system. Beavers was to replace card reader and all those uh, incident form. Did you hear any incident from all those nonsense? If you don't have card, they said, okay, write incident, go and vote. Beavers was an attempt to bring technology into our electoral system. So Beavers is not meant to do any other thing except for this type of... In fact, it was acquired for 2023 election. The law supports it. The, the House okay. of Senate, the legislature, House of Senate and House of Reps passed it and it was put into our law and their money appropriated for it. Okay, that means um, what I'm trying to understand now that uh, INEC look at Nigerians and the fraud Nigerian people of their money because the purpose of that 300 billion was not used for the purpose that money was mapped out. So INEC fraud Nigerians. You know, I ask this question again. Is it electoral fraud? Is it a crime in Nigeria? A lot of people come here and use a big English and cover it up. If a fraud, somebody who did a fraud is convicted, then when you became a president, you want to become a president and fraud the system to succeed uh, to be a president. Now, but it's not a crime. That means our law and our, uh, our judicial system and our constitution are not working. So uh, I know that uh, if P2B go to court with these uh, figures and uh, all these uh, constitutional, uh, 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 all this constitution, uh, this electronic, electronical uh, constitution amendment, I believe he will get the justice. No matter whoever they set up there, something has to be done because uh, every the whole election that I watch in this very uh, uh, since Saturday till the time they make this result, there was no electronic transmission. Everything was counted manually, just our tra like our traditional way of doing election. Even in fact, this election was one of the worst election I have ever even seen. You know, because the way they conducted the election was so, in short, we, we behave like resident evil. We behave like resident evil, you know? Things are not working. People are sending talks. You can see it there. INEC officials are being intimidated. You can see it there. Some places are not, there is no election conducted in those areas. People are there trying to vote. Nobody allowed them. I mentioned something once before this election. Those, those uh, card, um, uh, our PV PVCs, I knew that the people who manufacture that PVCs, they will disfranchise some people because they will not activate those PVCs. They will give it to you, but it will not, they will not activate it. So, and that is what is uh, playing out in this election. So, but what I know is, as far as that thing is in the law and we didn't use it, it will be have a case to, to attend. Thank you. All right, that thank you, thank you, Chibuza Adi. Um, the CM, please let me hear from you because I'm gonna to go to my callers soon. Good morning to you, sir. Um, I yeah, want, good, I want to morning. once again, um, uh, 
you know, share your pains with you or over your cousin that you lost the other day. Okay, and I accept my sympathy. Go ahead. Thank you, thank you, Niger Watch. At least that is part of the price to pay for this type of uh, with the season we are in. Anyway, uh, good morning to everybody wherever you may be listening to us or contributing in the chat. I think I won't be labor. We've all known what happened, but all, all I'm trying to analyze, I mean, not analysis anyway, just to prefer what I think should be the way forward. Number one, I cannot be found analyzing those figures they brought out. Number two, that a thief stole your car Polish the car, even change the the everything. He looked brand new. He's still a thief. Whenever you need the car, if you see it, you have to recover it. It doesn't mean that he took it from you and was keeping it in good condition. He's a thief. Number three. There is something in the affairs of man. I don't. I can't quote it very well, but it's in it's in either in Julius. I um, think Julius Caesar or so. At this point that Nigerians have come to this point, we have to ask, ask ourselves, what do we do? Some of the books I read about diplomacy, if you present a cockroach as your representative before the UN, everybody will give the cockroach the same respect they gave the maybe President Obama because you are respecting the people that brought the cockroach. It is not for them to tell you to change your cockroach, unless there's a prescribed condition that the cockroach did not meet. They may say, give us another one. This person fell short. But if you bring a, a super cockroach, they're still going to take it. So I just have to be saying it this way, because I feel all of us must have been educated since whatever. Now. No two countries fight for freedom the same way. There is no manual on how to get freedom. Everything is based on your environment, circumstances, and nuances. Somebody was selling uh, oranges or whatever, grocery, uh, just uh, in, in, in Tunis, uh, Tunisia. Just because of the frustration, high cost of living, he put start to put petrol on himself, and then that's it. We've not had it in the world before. We've not. And then it spread. The yellow orange, the yellow revolution or orange revolution, I think that was in Ukraine then. There was one either in Azerbaijan, I mean or Georgia. Iran had their own, the Iranian revolution as a result of what they, they, they can't bear it with the government anymore. And there I can give, I can, there I can give examples. Nigerians are enraged. There is no justification to allow a man who for a greater part of his life has, has been practicing and mastering the art of criminality to be a leader. There is no, there is no way it can be justified. I could, we could have approved of him if the law they made that election results should go through technology. Probably, yes, you can still elect a criminal under democracy and clean and yes, you can. But then you'll be happy that this is the choice you made. So this wasn't our choice. Why was that thing set aside? 350 billion to procure technology at the time you wanted to use it, they found out that if not for that beavers, um, um, Obaseki won't get second time. If not for that beavers, the chap in Ondo, uh, Ekiti won't be there. If not for that beavers, or shown the way they are arguing it, everybody was just saying he said it couldn't have been. So they now felt that these beavers, you can't manipulate it. The only thing is to set it aside. That's why they set it aside. Even when a man, a professor, who is reading figure upside down, is not ashamed. We go to Chatham House here in the UK. 
to go and tell the world that irrespective of whatever they have to upload it in a is it record? I don't know the time they said immediately, just like that. Then you go back home, you go and set that aside. Only to do manual. It takes you days, then you are changing figures. I published in my Facebook page. Okay. Please, please let me put this one so that I because I want people. I don't I'm not I publish on my Facebook page. The same result, the same figure PDP got in Bauchi was what they got in Gombe. The same figure APC got in Bauchi was what they got in Gombe. The same figure Labour Party got in Bauchi was what they got in Gombe. What sort of election is that? So we don't contest that. Nigerians, whatever okay. they do, they are annoyed and fully in support. And every option, having said this, must be on the table. Nigerian, the, the, the togetherness of Nigeria is not sacrosanct. Let me Thank end you. it like this. Thank you, CM. I'll come back to you shortly. Uh, let me share this. Uh, one thing I'm going to advise Nigerians before I pick uh, some calls right now, in case you want to call in, I want to take uh, 30 calls quickly in 30, 30 seconds, you know, so that um, everybody can have the opportunity to add their, 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 their voice. Uh, but one thing I'm going to say is I will not advise any Nigerians to go um, engage in riot. But peaceful protest, that's fine. You can do a protest where your voice will be heard. Because obviously, remember, whenever riots happen in Nigeria, people die. I understand people will say, yes, let people die to regain our freedom. But I'm not in support of anybody losing their lives. You know, it's unfortunate. I'm very down. I'm very, very sad. Uh, many of you can testify the effort that I put into this. Um, it's frustrating. It's discouraging. You know, um, yeah, I, I don't know, but let's hear from others on the phone. Hello, um, Mr. F.A., please talk to us. Good morning to you. Hello, Nigeria. Good morning. Uh -huh. uh, I want to say sorry to Mr. Um, um, this guy. This guy just lost the uncle. Um, okay. What is his name? Uh, mm. uh, Mr. C.M. Okay, so may okay. so may your may your uncle brother also rest in peace. Eh? So my Thank contribution, uh, uh, Mr. Nigerwash. Uh, yes, uh, we we'll do. We will go for peaceful uh, protest. Uh, but I know we. I trust my principal, uh, Peter Obi. Uh, he will never leave these things like that. We know this. This effect, uh, 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 Ricky will not go. He will not go in vain. We, 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 all our effort will not go in vain. I know. I know. I trust Obi. Uh, OP will fight this case to the last. So I know, I, I trust my principal, and I'll never lose hope. I want to use this, uh, this pri uh, privilege to tell all OP supporters, all uh, 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 our supporters, they should never lose hope. They, we still have hope. Person like me, I still have hope. I never lose hope. That is my contribution, bro. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I don't uh, know. What are, what are, please hold on, please hold on, hold on. I've not called you, sir. Sorry. What are you guys saying? Arise TV. What's happening to Arise TV? Arise TV is there. Tinobu people was uh, reported Arise TV. Uh, some people are saying Arise TV is not there anymore. What are you guys saying? Arise TV is right here with me. I'm looking at it right here. Please make us clear what you are trying to write because some of you write stuff, you don't put your sentence right for people to understand. You know, just go straight to the point. What are you talking about? What are you writing? You know, please, you know, we, we don't need fake news on the comment section. You know, this channel is not for, for classified information. It's not come here to, to you know, to, to um, uh, mislead people here, please. Thank you. Let me hear from another person right here. Uh, Mr just hold on hello good morning to you your name and where you're calling us from hello i have to move on to the next place if you're not talking we don't have time to waste hello turn down your device turn down your device your name and where you're calling from yeah hi uh, yes hi uh good morning good morning madam. my name is uh, blessing i'm calling from uk thank you and Talk um yeah, thank you for everyone who has spoken. Really, uh, we are all sad. 
um, many of us, it's like our life is on standstill, it's on our standstill since on Saturday. But, uh, me, me as a person, I've not. It's like a, a woman in a labor that have ended up uh, giving birth to a, a, a still baby. That's how I feel, and I know many, many Nigerians uh, are in pain. It is very obvious because this is not the mandate of the people. If it was, we would have every Nigerian in every state, even outside the country, would have been jubilated, uh, would have been uh, uh, celebrating by now. But the feel of the people shows that this is not their mandate. But then, I'm me as a person, I'm not giving up hope because I know that this will not end like this. Our effort, our uh, our hope cannot just be dashed like, 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 like that. But my my what I think that we can do, like 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 everybody ha, ha, have said, is a peaceful. Uh, protests, but I think that um, the youth are just waiting to be uh, um, you, you, united, just like during the time of answers. They they just don't want to, you know, go out because they will be misunderstood. And I think I like that. And I think they are waiting to hear from Obi himself. This is not the end of the road. Thank you. We can't just do this at all. Thank you, madam. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. And but uh, the 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 sad thing is that unfortunately, there's no birth without shedding of blood. That's just the sad part of it because I can see life being lost just to get this freedom that we are all looking forward for. God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much, Madam. God bless you too. Hello, good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Hello. I don't know. The people you call in are. Hello, good morning to you. OJ now. Now, thanks for calling in. Talk to us, sir. Yeah, very good morning, my brother. Good morning to you. Please, off your gadget. Family. Turn down your gadget, sir. I have. Okay, go ahead. I just said uh, good morning to everybody. I think this is a coup, uh, more like uh, a civilian coup. This was planned many years ago because uh, if you see the flagrants with which uh, the the chairman of the INEC was uh, behaving the way he was behaving, he even gave us a clue to why he's behaving the way he's behaving. Like uh, somebody was explaining, the 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 machine or the technology they brought in. The guy, the chairman himself, yesterday, maybe you, you guys missed it, he explained that this collation will depend on manual collision that's that's the electoral act the the machine or the technology they brought was just to assist so these guys they've done their homework and they just threw us behind the lines technically so what i'm saying is i think we need to go out and protest by all means there should be no uh i don't i don't think people should kill themselves destroy things but we have to make a statement they should shut nigeria down yeah. that's my question they thank should you. shut nigeria down thank you sir all right yeah. hello yeah good morning where are you calling us from your name Good morning, I'm calling from London. My name is Elizabeth. Thank you, Madam Elizabeth. If you check if you can write news, it's not working so for the almost an hour now. Yeah, but it's it, live, but there's is a technical issue. People are saying that they brought it down. Nothing happened. The channel is fine. They were live and it went dark. It's a technical issue. So it can happen. Anything exactly, can happen. Exactly. I want to talk about the the uh, the riot. It's only the protest. I think we need to encourage ourselves because I, I know all of our spirit is just so done now. But I believe on the, in the judiciary court, they, they can do something about it because the whole world is looking at them. I don't think 
they can be able to manipulate this one because it's obvious that will be win, but it just been taken away. That's why the ANEC officer did what he's doing because you know he cannot change it anymore. He cannot. So let's believe on it. They can do something about it. Thank you. Because what I. Thank you, Mother. Thanks. Thank you so yeah. much. Sir. Thank you. Hello, good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Uh, hello? Hello, I can hear you, sir. What's your name? Where are you calling us from? Good morning. Yeah, my name is Victor. I'm calling from Italy. Okay, talk to us, Victor, in one minute, please. All right. We we, are we have some noise on your background, sir. So much noise coming up from your background. Okay. All right, can you hear me well now? Yeah, go ahead. We saw everything that happened. Yeah. We saw the impact of Nigerian people choosing the leader that they believe that can take Nigeria to the next level, that can take Nigeria out from the mess that we found ourselves in. I want to go straight to the point because I had promised Nigeria in conferences, even at Chatham House, that results will be uploaded or shall be uploaded right from the polling units. We know the corruption in Nigeria. And the only thing that Nigerian people are asking for, please, let the results be called out at each polling unit. We don't trust INEC. INEC taking results to their office, manipulated it, then bringing it to the hearings of Nigeria. We all know that they cannot be trusted. Beavers, Nigeria spent 300 billion to make sure that things worked. I don't understand the kind of calculation that Nigerian government makes whenever it comes to the issue of money and finances. If you need to solve a problem in a country or in a particular place, even in our households, and you needed to invest such a huge amount of money in a great country like Nigeria in order for us to have a result that is transparent, promising Nigerians, come out, vote for your result, for your vote will count, because you are going to declare the result right at each polling unit. What is stopping the INEC from uploading results right there at the polling unit so that Nigeria will have peace and voters will have peace? But they fail to do that only for them to give us manual results. Labour Party, I'm a member of a Labour Party. I reside in Italy. And I must tell you that we have facts and figures going to court to win the case because Obi is elected president. And we all know that. If you have given us the idea of buying beavers, that it's gonna give us the expectation that we have been longing for since democracy that we don't even have. Not up till last Saturday, yeah. Sunday passed, Monday passed, Tuesday passed, today is Wednesday. Now, I am just saying, that the money spent is able to give us the result that we need right from the polling unit. The money, the Europeans haven't even spent the kind of money we have spent in materials in order to get exact result. Nigeria has spent 300 billion for us to have a transparent result, a transparent election that we can be able for once in our lifetime make a president of our choice. Here was it, we were again denied of this democracy. I want to just say something, then I'll hang up. If these jackals or whatsoever they call themselves succeed in manipulating this very election, I will tell you the truth. I don't see Nigeria being the dream country that we all deserved. I don't see Nigeria becoming the great African giant that we have always said, and I know so well that we are not. The rest West African countries that are far, 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 later than us have elections. Go in Ghana, 
We see everything right from Western world. We see how the elections were conducted. How much more Nigeria? The blood suckers want to start sucking bloods again. But we are not going to give up. We are not going to give up, most especially in this particular election. We will not let this man go scot free just like that, so that the system will continue being the way that it has been over these years. This is the time we have facts, we have figures. People use their phone. This is the reason why they told the citizen not to come to the polling unit with phones, because they already know that they will manipulate the election. So they don't need, or they never wanted the world to see what exactly they are doing at the polling units. From, from, from Western world here, come on, we saw talks. Even in Lagos, we saw a famous talk, a Lagosian telling people, telling voters, that if they know that they are here to vote another party, not APC, that they should return back. Thank you. Okay, sir. We saw polling units. We, we saw polling units at those state being disrupted. We saw polling units being burnt. How can INEC go ahead? No, INEC may say, yes, we have to display the result that we have at hand. But INEC themselves know okay. that... The results right. that they give and the figures that they give to Nigerian is not right. All right, sir. Thank our you. country, we need to take our country at all costs. Thank you. Thank you. Now or never. Now or never. Now or it will never happen again. Now or okay. never. Thank now you, that we have the clear evidence. Now or never. We are in Western world. All right. And did, did, did everyone think that we're happy staying here? We, yeah, we make money, we live good, but we want to come back home and invest. Being Having dual citizenship okay. does not really count. Please round up. Then I round want up. For, from where you actually come from. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've spoken well. God bless you. Um, it's now or never. Um, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say myself. I'm, I'm totally... I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Let me use that word. I'm, I'm speechless. This thing looked like a dream. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Hello. Hello, sir. Good morning to you. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah. My name is Godwin and I'm calling from India. You're calling from India. Talk to us, sir. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Niger Watch. Uh, well, I don't want to deliberate into the issue the, the, about the election about Obi being rigged out because uh, my heart is filled, you know, his treasure is shattered. So, if I want to express my mind, it's going to take two hours or more. Or more than. But there is one fact I want you to display, uh, to, uh, to convey to, to the listeners about the people are saying that the uh, uh, Labour Party is, uh, is uh, working together with PDP. They are wrong. They are trying to uh, to misinterpret uh, alliance to coalition. So please inform Labour Party uh, followers that uh, this is not an alliance. This is a coalition. I told them yesterday. To bring, uh, it's just that some people choose to, to believe that that rubbish. I I I I, I, I made it clear to them yesterday that it's not an alliance. I I it's said it here alliance. yesterday. Please try again and convey to them because they are trying to cause confusion and uh, the enemies are trying to take opportunity to you know to to you know to take to do something and uh, to paint level party as a uh, as as an as in, in, in alliance with PDP. That is wrong. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Labour Party is not. You said what? I said Labour Party is not in alliance with the PDP. Otherwise, if anything, Labour Party prevented PDP from winning this election. So I don't think so. They are not in any form of alliance. Exactly. I don't know what, what, what some people are trying to believe on. Anyway, let me come back to my panel. Um, I would like to hear from um, uh, Philip Kings. Philip Kings, please talk to us. Good morning to you. Okay, you are not available right now. Alex Adopiki, please talk to us. Good morning to you. Um, Elvis, my brother. Good morning. Thank you. And good morning to every other person there. Uh, I'm really, I'm really sad. Really, really sad. And at the same time, I'm angry and I don't know. Um, before I will continue, there's something that somebody was talking about. I that's why I even came in because I just wanted to. Uh, 
be to myself. Please, this is not the time for analysis. I don't want anybody to start an analyzing why uh, OB would have done more in the north or done more in the south. Please, for God's sake, what else can anybody do? What other sacrifice can anybody do that this man has not done? This man brought hope back to, to, to millions of people and we are all robbed. This is the time to focus on how to get back our mandate. Look at the sacrifices that young people made. Look at the hope that, that, that was stolen from them. Do you know what it means? So many, so many young people that never had anything to do with politics. These people were just giving us false hope all this while. And up to the last second, they still rubbed rip on our face to tell us that we, are, we don't know what we are doing, that the country belongs to them. And we are here still analyzing that he should have gotten more votes from the north, from east, or what? For God's sake, this man got all the votes. He swept the country. People loved him. If he didn't sweep the place, why were they manipulating all these things? Anybody who is reasonable, how can you ever think Obi will not win River State? Is anything so more obvious than that? A slap on all of our faces. And please, this is not the time to begin to analyze. I, I reject that. This is the time to take back what has been stolen from us. I'm really saddened in my heart to, 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 to hear such uh, analysis at this time. So obvious. It's just like you, somebody coming to your house to take your, 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 your let me use the word now. For example, your wife, for the men or the, 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 the women, or the, their husbands. And you will sit there, oh, if I had known, I would have uh, uh, taught my wife this. Or what? Come on. Millions of people, millions of Nigerians are just being robbed by just few. And we are here still analyzing that he would have done more in, in the northern part. They not voted for Obi, brother or sister. They not did. Nigerians voted this man. Because they wanted a country that they can call their own. But these few people, can you imagine this man promising 20, 20th of November? He still made this promise. He went to the world press and promised. What happened? We were robbed. What other evidence do you need? We don't need any evidence. We don't need any other thing. It is so glary. The whole world saw it. Even the blind could see it. The deaf could hear, for God's sake. I'm so rich now. I've never been this emotional in my life. How? We should have to think of what to do, how to get back this mandate. They are forcing somebody on us, forcing somebody on you, and you are still there analyzing. When it was so clear, I reject that. I'm sorry if I'm loud. I've never been this loud on this panel. But it, it really, it really, uh, something went off in me when I had somebody talking about uh, uh, he didn't do enough. He would have strategized that this man has been planning this. Yeah, we were robbed. It was not a fair fight. The playing ground was not there. The umpire was biased. So what do you expect of us? To kill ourselves? This man did everything he could. So all we have to do now is to be strong and stand and fight back. I don't know. It is the strategy that we are going to be talking about now. Let the focus be on the strategy. And no time for analy analyzing how, why it didn't go this way. We all know we are wrong. So what do we do now? That is the question. Please. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Go ahead, please. So you think Peter B is unaware that if somebody's are, are leading him by two point uh, this in nine or eight uh, this in million votes he's unaware of it that if they actually stole the numbers that he wouldn't contest against it they took my pictures brother, of these things my brother please not if they stole 
please don't use the word not if uh, 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 if they stole. They stole. It was stolen. What evidence do you need? What other evidence? No, I'm asking you about it. Be easy. It need to be not aware. We are, you are. We are talking about what we are talking about now is is this this glaring evidence everywhere that this mandate was stolen. Let's start from Lagos State. Do you know how many votes alone we are stolen? It was just they were allocating votes. It is so clear. So the, the, the you know when we begin to talk about. Uh, whether we know what, uh, if Peter B knows the total million. Of course, everybody knows that. Do we, we, we don't need to say it to him or him. Please. Okay, where do you think the votes were stolen then? Let me, let, let me understand where you're coming from. Where were these votes stolen from? Please, uh, I don't think, I, don't think uh, I, will, I, will, I will continue this uh, 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 discussion on this question about whether these things, the votes were stolen or not. Because no, but I really want to understand because when you, you say the votes my brother, were stolen, my brother, please, please, there's no we are not we are no kids, we are no fools. We all know definitely. Can't you see numbers being manipulated? Can't you see that these figures were all false? Can't you see what happened in River State alone? How numbers were being clearly it was so clear. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry to interject. Yes. This you can. I want to understand. Somebody should not come here. Somebody should not come here and begin to defend that the votes are not stolen. What I mean? What I'm asking a question because before you just start making assertions and saying something, you need to know what we are talking about. We all have to be on the same page. Don't ask questions. Why do you say not ask questions? The, the thing is this. Are we donkeys and not ask questions? Excuse me, excuse me. Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. We know they sell a loaf, a loaf of bread in Nigeria, maybe 1,200 naira, a, a tin of milk, maybe 5,000. If you multi, if you add them together, it will give you maybe 6,500 naira. That you went and inflated the cost of a loaf of bread to 50,000 naira, and then went and inflated the cost of milk to 100,000. That, that makes it 150,000. And you want to present it to somebody as a bill for buying that. So if you now start quid, if you, the figure, that is the meaning of that is that, that figure is not genuine. Therefore, whatever difference you walk out of it cannot stand. That's what we are saying. The 2,000 between 6,000 and 8,000 is fake. 8,000, 8 million, 8 million votes given to Tinubu is a fake figure. So when you inflate, exactly that's what we are saying. So when you inflate, if you believe that 8,000 is genuine, six, I mean, say 8, 8 million is genuine, 6 million is genuine, then you can then ask people be, if you had known, you should have worked hard so that you bridge the gap. But it's, they, but okay. it's, it's, it's right. bogus. Yeah. So you please, don't debate it at all. But I have someone the on the phone. Hold on, hold on, hold on, please. I have someone on the phone. Uh, I'm going to Please go ahead. Both of them okay. are bogus. It's very, very clear now that you are two sided. You're two mouth. You're speaking from two sides of your mouth. It's becoming obvious to everybody on this platform that you are not what you claim to be. It, it sounds okay. You like mean you mean two Niger, not, not Niger Niger Watch. Are you are you referring to two Niger? Two Niger. Okay. I'm referring to two Niger. What did I say? Did I say something else? You said Niger, Niger Watch. Niger. Okay, I'm sorry if I did. I'm referring to two Niger. What is your problem? Isn't it obvious? Have you not been a part of this process? Why would you be asking a, an insultive question like that? Why would you be asking how was it stolen? Are you kidding me? Is that what you want to discuss on this live? Are you really we, we, serious? We want to right? know exactly if we are going to go on the street and protest, we need to know right now do you know what people are going through right now are you free are you seriously kidding me mr to niger are you kidding me right now you are really showing yourself we are not donkeys seriously. we have to know why we are doing what we are doing i don't know if you know it tell no, me now we don't know why we are 
doing what we are doing, then guess what? You shouldn't be on the panel. You really exactly. Please. That's ridiculous. Be on the panel. You are taking up space that somebody else who knows what we're doing. What are you talking on. about? How, how dare you come on the panel? You can't even answer a simple question and you're telling me not to be on the panel. Are you seriously kidding me, Mr. Two Niger Watch? Were you not part of this whole process? Well, have you not been staying late nights and early mornings with us? Have you not been? Have they not been showing you videos after videos, going after videos and and, and documents after documents? Dude, who are you trying to ask questions that are obvious? That are, are we babies? Are we then, babies? Then let, me let me say something. Let me say something. Let her finish, please. You let are her finish. You insulting our intelligence, Mr. Two Niger. If you really do not know or understand what we're doing, then you shouldn't be on the panel because you are actually aggravating a lot of people that are mourning right now. Do you know how many lives have been lost in this entire process? Do you know what people have? have had to go through just to come out and vote? Do you know what people put on the line and you are asking an obvious question that even mm -hmm. a blind and a deaf person would know that this is what happened? Please, I beg you, do not and I, I said it earlier a lot of people are emotionally drained and need uplifting. What you are doing is rubbing salt to people's injuries. If exactly. you don't have anything to say, Mr. Two Niger Watch, I beg you, excuse yourself from the panel. It is okay. You don't have to speak today because you are aggravating people. I'm listening in. I should be sleeping, but I can't. I'm listening in and you're whining me. What the heck? Where are you? See, you're, you, are you, you are only to? getting you are only getting wounded up because you are not seeing things I'm really are you going by just I'm your feelings because you are aggravating you are rubbing insult on injury you're adding insult to people's injury you're spitting in people's faces don't you understand that do you know people put on the line okay. do you even All have right. an idea you've got to come and talk right now forget about britain because so you want the united states to talk but not peter will be to talk did you hear what I said? I said P2B talks when he, he's smarter than me, he's he's involved. We trust him. That's P2B has done nothing wrong, but don't expect P2B to break the law. He's not that kind of a person. He's they they're gonna handle it. Has he, he doesn't said, need to break the law, he just needs to tell us what happened. I, I know, but ha, did he tell you he's not gonna tell you? He's gonna tell and you then that's what we should wait for instead of us just jumping no, no, talking no, no, religious no. and talking conjecture all the time. Okay, what please, kind of people are uh, we? No, we can't mute, even wait for the leader please, to talk. Please, please, please mute uh two Niger because I really oh, don't stop have, it. I don't have time for your nonsense. You're already jumping the, the gun and uh, saying things me, that Peter B please, will never say. Please, please be quiet. Going all religious. Okay. Uh, go no, on. Number two, he's gonna respond at time and of his choosing. When he hasn't failed to respond, he hasn't said, I'm not going to respond. So it's stupid for you to come here trying to say, respond right now. He could respond an hour from now. He could respond a day from now. He could respond a week. It's up to him. But that there's a tripartite thing going on here. You have the contenders. You have the government. Then you have the people who are sovereign, us, the citizens. We don't have to wait to respond. We may respond in a way that P2B doesn't like. That's his business. But we're not going to sit here and have our votes, our mandate be stolen by anybody. Exactly. They, they colluded. So you, you, you think he's per se, okay, he's president. No, that's not the way presidents work. The people are sovereign. There are a lot of people voted in this election. And the Europeans know it. The Americans know it. So they have no respect for Africans. And they're all over. The, they say they're going to be, they're going to watch and observe the election every year in all African countries. They keep treating us like animals. They're going to really, see, you know, if somebody didn't tell them, I mean, how stupid could you be that you're going to let a geriatric heroin convicted drug dealer who couldn't even stand up to be the president of Nigeria? 
Now, who's going to do that? Who's going to do that that is a civilized country, such as United States? They sit there, and they're watching to see what we're going to do. Are you going to say, go and protest? Nobody should go to protest unless you have, unless you have if you're armed. Because it's not a protest then. If somebody reading an election, yeah, you protest the election. But if somebody's telling you, it's like, some, like somebody gave an analogy. Somebody came to your house, want to take your wife, I, 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 and he's got a gun, maybe. And you start protesting. Protesting what? You're going to have to stop him. You're going to have to whack him. You're going to shoot him before they shoot you. Our kids went and protested at, at the Lake Toll Bridge, and they, they were shot. The United States didn't do anything. Britain they didn't do anything. The same animals. How much are we going to take? You, no, you want are calling to our fellow you, human beings animals. You, I think this type of language you are using is look irresponsible. Look, look, listen to this guy. That is not leadership material. If it will be quiet right now, it's quiet for a reason. Uh, you need to, so you you need to be that. more circumspect. Instead of just calling people animals and talking about look, people look, should look, be taking look, guns to the streets, okay. that is not the way to be. Who did that all this type of talk is the kind of stuff that got us here in the first place. Look at this all guy. this kind of, we just jump to conclusion and start fighting each other. That, how I, does that I, develop our country? I don't want it developed. I want you don't want it developed. I, why, I, I, why am I surprised? Please, please, in a foreign country, telling tell foreign country, for foreigners to tell us what to do, okay. and you, you, you advise our people to go on the street and start telling each other up. Let Guess me, I want to watch who you represent. Let me tell you. You, are you guys, you take it man. easy. We are gentlemen. I don't here. understand how people are just, just wish our people oh, chaos. Let me, let me yes, you. ourselves. Let me, let me answer you, because I've heard you talk about development. Okay? Our dignity, our rights are not in our buildings or in our roads. We are endowed by our Creator by certain inalienable rights, and those rights is what we want. Not about building or development or investment or anything. We want our freedom. We want our citizenship. We want our lives. We want our freedom, liberty. That's what we are looking Isn't for. Isn't that why we are all here? But it's but how you, no, you are no, talking about implementing you, it. Not about... by shedding blood on the streets or creating instability that is going to impoverish our nation even further. That is the reason why we are not developing today. This type of instability, up and down, up and down. Our nation is always looking to burn, looking to break up, looking to burn, looking to break. This is why we can't develop. Okay, hold on. First of all, this type of talk. Can you, can you, <clears throat> you're setting up a straw man because we are not here to talk about our development. Nobody. Yeah, but I this is what it is. To you know, going to this for 70 years. To how, how, how many more times do you Yeah, you're wrong. wrong. Yeah. You're wrong. The reason people we, go that the audience. we should wait for the leader, Peter Obi, to make his own statement. That is how irresponsible people behave. You can't just start saying stuff with, that the leader didn't prescribe. Okay, Mr. Tuna, thank you, please. Thank you. Are you the leader okay. now? Okay, no, I'm not the leader, and that's why you, you should take that up to the leader, right? Outside the law. If he does you, that, believe me, tomorrow money don't pick him up. Right, he's talking so from both sides of his mouth, and I've dead with him. Don't pick him up like a small uh, boy. And the point is, if you, if you are, you can't do nothing. If you are worried about developing Africa, pick him up. Developing Nigeria, day, like you, you've been going around the platforms talking about. Fine, there's nobody that you're gonna that doesn't like development over on development, but that's not where. What I is want. the greatest enemy of development? I, know, I, I don't want to talk about that. I, 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 don't, I, don't, expect, I don't expect this kind of statements from what? you guys. Please, please, you guys should. Please, you guys should. Please, please. Yeah. Yeah. How can you say you should come and protest? Let me, let me, let me round up because I am not. I'm not back here. I'm not back here to be having this kind of. This is kind of debate with you, okay? One, two, Niger, when it's your turn, you talk about development. During my turn, what I want to talk about is this election. I, first of all, I want to make it very clear. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Pansard, Mr. Yeah. Pansard, please yes. round up in one minute. Okay. So let that's me, all we can go to order. Say, no interjection in the next one minute, please. Let me say to everybody who, who's been sounding like, oh, uh, we've lost. The elections are nobody, not even the Waziri of Adamawa or NMPP or or, or even uh, even Showere. There's nobody who says we're conceding the election. Uh, Tinibu has won the election. That's pure nonsense. He's never gonna win the election. That's massive fraud, massive fraud. 
the numbers are even probably have nothing to do with the election itself. So okay. please let's hang tight and, and keep moving forward and, and wait until there's a response from you, the teams. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I, I would like to hear from a uh, true story lady. Okay. Uh, Hello. Okay. Good morning to you. Madam. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Good Hello. Morning, Hello. Please. Uh, good morning. Hold on. Hold Hello, on. sister. Please, uh, like... sister, just yes, give me your why? time. I know that I just coming now, and I will see once I talk, then I will still sign off. Uh, my brother, to Ninja, uh, I respect your opinion, and uh, you have to listen to to us. We are here. To coordinate ourselves to have a better Nigeria. To be honest, first of all, honest, I know. I will, I will, I will, I will advise everybody to focus on the situation. Don't focus on what other yeah. people's other people's opinion. You know, we are not talking about two Nigeria. Okay. The title is not about two Nigeria. Okay, I'm sorry about that. What I want to say, what uh, what I really want to say is that I want to let people know that power belongs to the people. Together yes. we stand. Together we can develop our country. Together we can develop our country, Nigeria. Before you make it, before you build your house, you have to you have to make a solid uh, foundation. With that, it will crumble. So before we can develop our our country, we have to we have to make sure that the background. The foundation is solid. But these things that is going on now, if we look at that results yesterday, Peter B have already come out to say that that result they are piling up is a fake. Why do I say that? Peter B, Labour Party, they that. are one body. You understand? No, the chairman have said that. Yeah, no, no, the chairman said have said that Labour right from time. That yeah, that's Labour Party. No, no Labour no. Party. What I mean, what I mean, what I mean, not that maybe because decision come from the party. You understand? Uh, Le, Peter uh, uh, Peter B is one. It is it, just a representative. It's a body. As a body, it's one house. So what's your what take on this speak, decision? What's what they speak. That is what we are. My taking this decision, my my taking this decision that we should stand for our vote, you understand? Because we clear all the we clear all the country. That's my submission. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. All right. A, a true story. I have to, I have to yeah. move out now. Okay. Good morning, now. my my brothers and sister in the house. I greet everyone. And uh, what we are doing here, you, I just want to add something about what we are doing here and about the distraction that, that will come in. So there, will, there are going to be many distractions, but we need to stand firm. You understand? Because many people is relying on this channel, Ninja Wash. So whatsoever we are doing here is not joke. You understand? Even though any channel you have or anything you are doing, do it well so that people will we embrace you. So everybody saw what happened in Nigeria. You understand? Although we don't we are not living in Nigeria. What baffle me is that most of us that live in Europe, we are enjoying what others cannot enjoy. Is most of us that fight ourselves. That is what pains me most. We see what is going on in Nigeria. We see how our people are being treated. You understand? So we should not come here bring pretending as if we don't know what is going on. You understand? So what I'm trying to say is that we should stay firm. We should, because what we are doing, people is looking onto, looking onto us. We should not encourage violence now. You understand? This is what they, what they want. They want the social media to be fighting themselves. You understand? So when the social media start fighting themselves, they will not have concentration to bring what is on the ground for people. Please, I am begging every channel that God is using on this uh, 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 election at this time of the at this time of around now. Not the time for us to be arguing, fighting ourselves, or forcing P2B to come out from the 
for the 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 protest. P2B will never do that. And P2B, there was one little video that he did that he was telling everybody to stay calm when he was moving to in the air, uh, like airport. We saw the video when Niger was brought the video here. So he said everybody should stay calm because when when they set a trap for 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 animal, if the animal does not watch careful, he will put in a leg on that trap. That is where the trap will catch the animal. So when the animal is being careful, you will see that animal will pass by where you set your trap. He will just pass by and the trap will not catch him. So that is my advice. We should stay calm. We should not fight ourselves. We should not come and use one word to provoke everybody. Because the way Niger, the reason why I call me, because the way Niger was intention, I'm not there with him, but I know that the, the temperature and the, the pressure on him that moment, it was high. If he has took to if they take him to hospital that moment, they will see that the blood pressure is very high. My brothers and sisters, if we are here to support Ninja Wash, we are not here to add pain upon pain. That is my harvest, my brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, madam, for your submission. Um, who is talking? Um, it's Uche from Russia. Okay, Uche, yeah, yeah. I wanted to call you now. Yeah, talk to us. Good morning to you. All right. Good day, everyone, for wherever you are listening from. God bless you. Mr. Niger Watch, God bless you. Um, please, what Thank I want you. to, first of all, add is, please, before you talk, whether you are a caller or make sure you have jotted down the points that you want to um, uh, bring, dish out. Just jot it so that you can beat the timing. That is one. Then number two, I think um, they are talking about Obi. Obi doesn't have to make a statement. They already made a statement through the body, which is a Labour Party. Then um, number three, it is glaring and clear what happened. What happened? The shambles and everything they did, all the manipulation, it is clear. Number four, I would say money has started flying around for propaganda in the media. Don't forget that this person that stole our man, they stole it through cash, through payments through propaganda, and the propaganda will continue until they swear him in, which God will never allow. Then P2B is not actually coming to rule us. He's coming to serve us. So we have the right to actually speak out our mind if we are not happy. If we know our mandate is stolen, we have the right to speak up. We have the right to scream, but don't shed blood. Don't cause chaos. He only gave his own piece of advice. If you listen, the guy in the video was speaking Igbo. He didn't even speak. He said, everybody should calm down. It's You have to take something that uh, you want to eat a hot thing. You have to take it slow. So it won't burn you. All these people know what they have. They've calculated every fucking step that is going to happen. Sorry, um, don't mind my language. But they already calculated every step, every scenario that is going to come out. They've calculated like five different scenarios. Then again, I would like to warn us, please, let us watch what we spill out here on media. We don't know who is paid. We don't know who is a mole. Because when you are going to fight this battle, even if it's the jury or judiciary, they will already have the points you are coming to fight them with. You have to catch them unaware. When you catch somebody unaware, the person will not be able to defend his or herself. But when you have given the points you are using to catch this person, the person will be able to be confident. That is why Momodu was confident calling the results, because he knows that people will start fighting. He knew that Dino Melaya would stand. Even Dino Melaya knows that PDP also rigged. You understand? So I want to point out another thing is we have to protect each other. Whether you are from the north, south, east, and west, please, that togetherness should be there. Somebody always say that uh, when the broom is together, it's very hard to break. But when you single out yourself, they can break you to pieces. I don't, I'm, I'm an evil boy, but I love Hausa people. I love Yoruba. I love Igala. I love everybody. I love everyone. I want us to be one. When we are one, I bet you we are going to get to that promised land. But don't think that this is going to come easy. There is no how you are going to do it. Nobody will relinquish power easily. Most especially from incumbency. They cannot carry the power and give to you. Who are we that they want to give the power to? That is what they will say. We can 
arrest you. We can use the military against you, DSS against you, silence you, even the thugs against you. But you have to be wise because we are very intelligent people. Then again, uh, Peter B is trying to be a law-abiding citizen because if he does anything now against the law, it will be used against him. They can begin to adjourn the court, adjourn, adjourn till this guy spent four years. Then I want to speak about the turnout in the pools. The turnout in the pools, they didn't expect people to turn out because they feel that people will be scared to come out and vote. So that is why it was hard for them to rig. They never believed that people were going to turn out to vote, most especially Lagos. They never knew. All that right. We have noise from your end, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's my dog. I think it's my dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, could could you cite an example where that kind of cooperation exists in the world? Can you at least that will encourage me? Where do you have a society where you have Muslims and Christians in the numbers that we have in our country? Let's say 60, 40, 50, 50. Give me one country where there's mutual respect between these two traditions. There might not be anywhere, but you cannot something starts from somewhere exactly it can start from somewhere yeah I mean, yes, don't, there is, forget there is. That. don't forget ghana, that ghana ghana there's mutual respect in ghana there, there are muslims and christians in ghana let, let me almost finish. the same let equal percentage before the christian and the muslims came we were traditional rulers we have uh, we are traditional worshippers don't forget they have people well that i i'm people. submitting that it since caveman it doesn't exist let's 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 live with the truth. Okay, but okay, listen, because please. I'm not against us being in the same country, but we have to have mutual respect. They we cannot do this. They, they, wait a minute. You, they cannot, in broad daylight, disrespectfully go and spend 200 billion naira and then try to allocate these results. Don't use the beavers and say, hey, what can you do? That's basically what mutual respect is fine. But it's it doesn't exist in anywhere in the world. We are not smarter than India. We are not. We are not even their picky toe. So they dealt with the truth. You have to. It's not comfortable. Do I like talking about this? No, I don't. But if you're gonna come out in broad daylight by four o'clock in the morning, Nigerian time, and you start getting a geriatric somebody who cannot stand up, a, a convicted yeah. drug drug baron are you try to make him president by allocating listen, votes listen there is no way oh, it, that is going to be a, a civil matter no no my friend no because if you're gonna talk like that give me an example you have listen, to have mutual respect it's not making it about religion it has nothing this is what it is that's what it is that they just use zero to do with religion they, and they're it's just using tinibu for right now because he, he has everything to do with religion. They have Muslim, has, Muslim has, ticket. Okay. It has has let me everything to do with it. It's Southerner. It, it, we can't we can it, 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 it has it, it, the law. It, 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 in our constitution, we have what's called a federal character doctrine, right? You have to respect that at least. They have a Muslim, Muslim ticket, right? Uh, Erufai, who is a, a, a Sunni Muslim from Kaduna, says, hey, well, there's Christians in the north. How many are they? Which is not true. That's disrespectful. You cannot... Let this stand because what it means is you got a, a Muslim Muslim ticket. One of them is a Boko Haram sponsor. You are very responsible right you now. Are irresponsible. What you are doing, what you, you, you are doing, you, 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 is meeting the Nigerians you know, along fraud lines. I am not going to do the, 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 the nation gonna any good at all. I'm this is what is causing chaos in the family in, the, in Nigeria. This is why somebody said we bring should be the, careful about the people we listen to. Bring the chaos. Bring the chaos. You can't, you see, you, bring the you chaos. Know, what you see what he's saying? Do you know that specific bring thing he just chaos. said? Is you the enemy have, of development. You we have, need you development more than anything. Two Nigerians. Please, Shut please, please, please. We, we are not a kid. We are not a kid. More than anything. You There's more than a thousand people on ground that is watching. Please, the audience. My brother, my brother, this is... Let me ask a question, please. Anyone can answer this question. Now, do you remember Anthony... Uh, no, the Chief Justice, the one Buari appointed as the Chief Justice. Do you remember he proposed that Sharia law should be enforced in the whole of 36 states of Nigeria? Do you still remember this now? 
we know about that. Everybody okay, okay, okay. okay. Why would you, if say. that happened under the APC, why would you say that the sh people should not look at it in it, on the re religious it, side? It, it, no, no, no. If you're arguing about the disparity in terms of the appointees, yes, you can make that argument. Because even if you were appointing only men, even if you are appointing only men into no, offices, I'm not talking about it's still an issue. You can't have uh, this in one group of people, one and uh, uh, demographic uh, in in office. So you can make that argument based on what um um uh, what is the uh, uh, Konkwa said it already on uh, this thing that uh, uh, the the Tinubu campaign has too many Muslims in top positions. So that's yeah, something yeah, like, you on, can, you on, can on, criticize yeah, them yeah, for. All right, all right, you, you, all right. You, please you, allow you, others. Please. We have people waiting to speak. Please. I know, just give me thirty seconds. Hello? Please, hold on, hold on. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Niger, please give me. Can give I me, please, give me thirty seconds, and I'll, 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 and I'll leave. Right away. Look, Mr. Niger, watch. I'm, I'm going to ask you right now in our country. Okay, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, they removed a chief justice of Nigeria, chief justice on again, right? illegally removed him without going to the Senate that requires two thirds. Okay, so in our country right now, or should Tinibu become president, it'll be Muslim president, Muslim vice president, Muslim Senate president, Muslim chief justice, Muslim uh, speaker, right? Then Muslim chief of the army. So even, for example, if there's an issue where you have to go to court, pretty much they're being disrespectful. We have a constitutional doctrine that is called federal character. You have to make everybody believe that they belong to the country. So, okay, you Mr. Can, Pansa, you before we move me. on, let me quickly ask a question because it's not your time, but I'd like to ask you this question, sure. and every other person can answer it as well. I want to quickly ask you, sir, um, due to the judicial system that Nigeria have built for years, for decades. Because the only option right now is to go to the court, I guess, right? And if Peter will be, or rather, Labour Party have to go to court now, do you believe there will be justice? Of course not, because you, you. I was just mentioning the very, very top ones that you, you have the, the the Attorney General is Muslim, the EFCC Chairman is is a Muslim. Never had a Christian or a Satana in those kind of positions. The customs is Muslim. The immigration. Okay, so never if, been, you think, if you think there will not be justice, then are you submitting now that Tinubu will be the next president? No, the Tinubu, there are many barriers to him being the next president. Number one, he committed blatant fraud. So there are international bodies. But that barrier did not stop him from becoming president elect. No, no, he's not. He, look, what does it take for somebody to be president elect? That's his president elect is between him and Mahmoud, who made him president elect, right? Mahmoud himself should be in the slammer. He's a criminal. He's, he's rigged elections since 2019. I and to today. Mr. Pansat, we, Mr. we are Pansat, sovereign. The people are sovereign. Mr. All these Pansat, guys work for us. Mr. Yes, Pansat, yes, if sir. you ask me, I am not too happy with you because I remember so many times I tried to, to let the world, the world know on this platform for the past couple of months that I ne can never ever be trusted. You come here all the time telling me not to be negative. You attack me. Look, right. I foreseen it. Yes. Now we are seeing it. Not yes. just you. Many other people attack me here. Niger was please be optimistic. Be this. Right. Just look, look. I know because what I did in that case, yeah, I was it's, it's quite true. Was never Niger was never trusted. I, I have to explain something to Mr. Niger. Watch in the in the in that at that moment, right? He we have to balance voter suppression. And also, Anek did not show any sign that this is so ridiculous what they did. You know that it's only in Nigeria this will even happen, right? And somebody will be talking. We're talking because we're Nigerians. We're stupid, right? Because what they did, who, who's, who would have thought, thought that they're not going to use the beavers? Imagine that. Just turn off the, the beavers, right? So nobody thought that. If they use the beavers, it's a very sound technology that's been used three times, right? So, but he turned it off. He wasn't going to use it. If he used it, there was no way because it's right there. So there was a balance. You, you, you cannot suppress the voice and not trust the agency of government who has demonstrated technology. So the, 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 the preponderance, if you have to weigh it at that point, was on their side. 
Okay. That they, they've right, conducted Pansar. three elections and they Thank used you. it Thank to you, translate Mr. as a We have people waiting, please. Can sure. I finish? Thank you. Nobody no, but me. you're supposed to finish this. Oh, you're finishing in one minute, sir. Please, okay. let me move I will, on. I will just dust everything in one minute. So yeah. uh, what I, what uh, my final note is, INEC did not satisfy the constitution. So the election is totally invalid. Good. That's my stand. You're Thank right. You. That's my stand. Right. Satisfy the constitution. So that is my stand. The, the, the election is invalid, is is is, is unacceptable. So at Nigeria, his time, if you want to better Nigeria, don't accept president it. President elect. I cannot call him president elect. So many okay. people should not call him president elect. Let's let me move on. Niger Niger watch. Hello. No. Who is talking? It's only money. Okay, I wanted to call you now. It's your turn. Talk to us, sir. Please, uh, before uh, I, true, before true, I go, true story, lady. Please stay mute. We, you, you know, uh, because okay, I've muted you. Don't unmute yourself. Except you want to speak. Thank you, madam. Go ahead, uh, only money. Is please, your be, before I go for, before I go further, I want, to, I want to ask him um, to Niger. Does or any of you, because I've had a lot of um, back and forth uh, arguments about religion. Do you think? Or do you feel that Nigerian polity has nothing to do with religion? Do you feel there's no great influence of religion in how we run our politics in Nigeria? Can you can you can you say that with confidence? Can any of you say that with confidence that religion if doesn't does play a role in the leadership of Nigeria? Religion. If he if doesn't want to talk, then I will talk. He's gonna. He's had No, I'm asking you a direct question. Just answer me an open answer. Yes or no? Do you feel it, no it has 100 yes? to do with religion? The, the, the economy we have is much. not tribal; it's religious. Thank you very that's, much. That's the problem. It's a corrupt class. Stop being silly. Jesus Christ! A corrupt class of people are the ones causing these problems, and you're here blaming religion for it. All the poor um, Muslims in the, the, the north, what have they, what have they got okay, to do okay, with okay, it? Okay, 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 okay. Niger, Niger. What have we got to do with any of this? Who are okay, the, who are, you, Niger, Niger, let me ask you a simple bunny, question. Who are the people? Who are Hello, the people? Okay, bunny, yes. Have you, how exposed are you? How exposed are you to okay, the only, only, only money. You are not here to contribute to the situation. You are here to ask questions. No, and I'm contributing. No, I just want to, sorry, I'll hold contribute. On, sir. Sorry, hold sorry, on, sorry hold I'll on. contribute. You hold on, sir. When you are here to ask questions, that means your five minutes cannot be used by you. Someone okay, else okay, let me it. just go back. Let me just you are up to point that, point if I, let me bring out a timer. Let me just go straight to point since it's not, not, it's not about question. But anyway, what I wanted to say is that um, what is the solution? We have been going back and forth on what happened, and some people are saying um, Peter Bush should come out and lead protest. Me personally, I feel it's, it's wrong. It's not right. We are endangering him. We are putting him in the spot, and he's not supposed to do that because all eyes are on him now. Anything he does now, the federal government will go after him. And Peter Bush yesterday already told us that we should be calm. We shouldn't protest. Exactly. You see. So someone was saying, well, let's wait for Peter Bush's action. He has already put out an action. He said, everybody should be calm. Don't protest. Let's go through the judicial process. He said it yesterday. You understand? So that one is aside. Now, it's now left for us. Are we going to go ahead with what we believe and what we want? Or do we follow the directive of Peter B? It is now left for us to decide. What do we want to do as a people cheat few cheat, uh, that are cheated? Our mandate was stolen from us. The people that want change in the country. It depends on how we feel, how badly we need it. People came out in droves, went to get their PVCs, stayed at night, voted, counted it, sweat, blood. It, a, a copper was injured. These are the sacrifices we put out for this election. And these people just took everything away from us. It's not funny. I believe we, we are, it's, it's not something we should just take and just say, ah, mm, let's just become an order. I'm not agitating for, I'm not um, asking for crisis um, and, um, and revolt and all that. No. But I think we should start looking at a process where we should be more, you know, we should more be, we, we, we should be felt. Our action should be felt, and our action must make an impact on this institution, this group of old men that's held our our future, our generation hostage for decades now. 
So I don't really know the pattern. I don't know what we have to do, but all this rambling and back and forth, what happened in there? Or to that. No, what is the solution? What are we doing? That's what I want to know. You understand? Is it the protest? What kind of protest? Where does it start from? What do we do? What kind of protest? Are we starting from the diaspora? Do we start rally from the diaspora? Who are the organizers? We have to start planning. That's my own opinion because if we keep deliberating on what happened throughout, throughout the process, it, it, it's not going to take us anywhere. Uh, now have, we need what? I have two suggestions. Action. What next? Thank I you have, very much. I have two suggestions if you want to know the answer because that's a very good question you asked. We just can't come here and keep complaining. Here are my for fast because we need both. One minute, sir. I want to start yes. picking calls. Okay. Number one, yeah, we do have act action from the diaspora. We have to contact the United States. There's a lot of us here. But number two, we have to take an example from people, the people who were in the Niger Delta. When these people came over there to take their oil and pollute their land, it's not everybody. We don't, to me, I don't care. This is just my suggestion. I don't want mass protests, people walking around carrying placards or the flag. No, there should be some serious people who are going to say no. We want our mandates. We want the election redone. It should be people who are trained. It should be. It shouldn't be a mass. This is not a protest thing. This well, is how can you? Okay, if you say you unacceptable. Yes. Okay. What kind of people? This class of people you are asking for. Where people do you who, get them from? And where are they who, now at the moment? Where the, the, you, can you source for them? Do you yes, have an idea who they are? Can you point? Can you name one or two names? Or if you don't want to, can you just give us a little bit of understanding of what you're saying? Yeah, and I what, say what I'm saying is that you can't find them. Can I, can you I can't just... find them, but your words on social media, your current on social media, they will do what they got to do from the back end. <clears throat> Thank All right. You. Um, you, excuse me. Um, sorry, guys. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, information reaching me right now that uh, some very important people are watching us and that uh, commending us for pulling out a poll. You know, our poll has always been there every day, but today's own is very, very vital. Please. Click on that poll, vote. It's very important. Nobody asked me to do that because I've always been doing it, but I'm surprised to receive this call right now that that poll uh, is being monitored. You know, please click on the poll right there, the comment section from Niger Watch. I will put it on Niger Watch. We are streaming from three platforms right now. We have about 1,900 people watching us across. But if you want to vote, you have to come to Niger Watch uh, comment section, vote on it. It's very important. Like I said before, we have never done this before. Uh, this is a very important one. Uh, the poll is needed. Just click on it. Follow the question that is right there. Click yes or no. God bless you all. Uh, please, guys, give me time. Let me quickly. Uh, a lot of Nigerians are calling in. Let me give them time to also add their view. Hello. Uh, turn down your device. Turn down your device. Your name and where you calling us from? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. My Madam. name is Omomomi. Good morning. My name is Omomomi and I am calling from London. Thank you, madam. Go ahead. Talk to us. Yeah, I've always been on this platform for a while now. Now about this election, I called last week that we should go out on a protest. But eventually I sat down and learned that it wasn't the best. Now the way forward, if we pursue this thing legally, don't say it will not work. We are going to pursue it legally. Follow it up with all the youth, all people that voted. The Supreme Court has to be forced to do the needful. To do the, we are not taking this easy. I'm a Yoruba lady. I'm not Igbo. Good. I'm not concerned about either Igbo or Hausa. Religion. What I'm concerned about is Chamba. Nigeria. You understand me? Yeah. You understand me? Ahead, what mother. I'm saying now is that let us pursue it legally. In every situation and organization that we work, there has to be a legal process. The legal process says we should go to court if we are not contented with a with a uh, with a um, uh, swearing, you know, whatever they call it, it is not right. We have all the documentations to back it that that election was rigged. That election was rigged. Let's go to court. Then on the media, as we are doing this, 
let us be proclaiming that we don't accept. Okay. The youth of Nigeria don't accept. Thank Whether you, it is by petition or anything, at the court hearing, listen to me, please. At the court hearing, if a Supreme Court makes the mistake of doing what they normally do in the past and say, the, no, 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 they, we have done it, we have done it, then we will burn down Nigeria to God who made me. Okay. That is the beginning of the exit of the Eagles and the Yorubas from Nigeria. Thank you. Thank so you, that madam. is what I did. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Okay, let me hear from others. Good evening to you. I'm sorry. Good good afternoon to you. Uh, your name and where you're calling us from? Good afternoon. Yeah, where are you calling from, sir? I'm calling from Germany. Talk to us. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it has happened. It has happened. To me, I've, I've been making calls this morning. Ever since I heard it, this sad news, it's a very bad day for Nigerian. Early, the whole world. So what I what I want to say here is that this is not the time we have to just be talking or doing this. They have been making calls to Nigeria to people in Nigeria. What they said to me that yeah, they are planning a protest, but not as usual. Not the usual protest we used to do that without no outcome, no result. But this time this protest is going to be serious and it's not by going to the IDEC office or any governmental house. The only I said no. They said no. Okay. They say what they are in arrangement now. Everything is going on. Okay. That day, people are really planning how. To... Thank you, sir. So that is Thank what you. I want. To Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me quickly hear from someone else. Hello. Good afternoon to you. Your name and where you're calling us. Turn down your system. Talk to us. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, brother. How you doing? Uh, I'm not very fine. Hello? But talk to us. Yes. My name is. Uh, Julie, I'm coming from United States of America. Okay, I'll be you. trying to uh, contribute on this uh, um, concerning the what is going on. Yeah. I just want to tell everybody we should stop fight, uh, cursing ourselves. Please, we should use sense to uh, talk about of all those things. When the world is hearing us fighting ourselves, cursing ourselves in this Niger world, we are not there to gather people together to start cursing. The only thing I have for this election, if I may have 10 heads, they should bring Tunubu Han outside, say congratulations, is the winner. So let us just sit and be watching. They, they will do the all those things, madam. They will do it. Somebody called in yesterday, if I may have 100 heads, they should declare Tunubu as a lead. They have done it. So you just said now that if they have 10 heads, I'm telling you the next 12 hours, yeah, they will also do that. So these INEC people, okay. they don't have Did a he heart. Did win Abuja? Pardon? Did he have 25% in Abuja? But INEC said Tinubu is a president elect. That's what we are saying now. Your count and my count my is not has... counting. It, it doesn't, they, they, they have robbed us. Don't worry, my brother. The one that happened in America here, we have another APC here. Who is APC? Trump. I know they had my mouth. Is the APC here? He do more than this one. For end of the day, they count the election. They vote for more than six months. Okay. And Thank you, so madam. Tinubu is not going. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Turn down your device, please. If you have noise on your device on your, on your end, your background, I'm going to turn it off. Anybody that is calling in. Okay. Good morning or good afternoon to you. Yeah. Talk to us. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, good sir. Morning. I can hear you. Uh, Where are you calling from? What's your name, sir? Uh, Chuck Sobi, where is it? Oh, okay. I, I'm not yeah. looking at, at numbers. Trust me. Talk to us, sir. I know. You are tense. You are tense. Yeah, um, I just called to thank that madam who just called now. If, yeah. you, if you listen to when they started this uh, Omoma magic, right? Mm -hmm. I've been saying it. Let us do the right thing for those who are to niger just want to talk to you to niger shut up no I no no don't 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 there. don't attack him no, no, like no, no, that no. please he, no he oppose him disagree but you can how, how a people love so much anarchy no mr shoes hold on sir mr shoes hold on mr shoes mr shoes mr shoes you must take that back you know the rules of this platform Insult is not allowed, not from anybody at uh, all. Shut up. I, I, I take 
went back, but I don't say shut up as an insult because he used even worse uh, words to talk to the, uh, uh, the people on the panel before now. Yeah, you can play back that. Maybe it is fair. To okay, go ahead. Oppose, oppose him, disagree to, with him. To, to That's fine, sir. That he used that word. Go ahead, yeah. sir. So, you know, to Niger, if you want is to, uh, if your plan is to set Mr. Fito be up for him to be killed like Abiola, it will not happen. He's not gonna speak to you. He's not. This is about Nigeria. It's not about you. You come here every time to claim. You love Nigeria. You don't what like Nigeria. What are you talking about? That I'm setting people to be up. What are you talking about? Make it clear. Uh, please, to Nigeria, don't 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 just interject like him, please. Don't interrupt said. him. Go ahead, Mr. Shoes. Thank you. Just like that madam says, where who the people we need to hold accountable right now is our is our court, our Supreme Court. Just like that madam said, in fact, I don't need to add more on that. If the Supreme Court mess about, we burn Nigeria to pieces, everybody go. I am okay. ready to go back. To All right. That's, that's, to that's a violent statement, sir. We, Thank you. You know, uh, it's not allowed here. I'm sorry. Uh, please, let me caution everybody. I understand the situation that we all are facing right now. Uh, to be honest, for me, I'm totally down because I want a better Nigeria. And I'm sure 100% we can't get it from APC. You know, we all know what we have been facing from APC all this Why Now, APC is going to continue again, God forbid. So for me, if you are calling in here, if you're one of the panel panelists, please, insult is totally prohibited. It's one of the things that this channel have built for years. We don't allow insults. We don't allow, uh, allow uh, 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 any kind of directly or indirectly uh, intimidation here. You can oppose and, and disagree with anybody, but that's fine. But you can't insult anybody. You can't threaten. You can't use threat words here. It's all is forbidden. In case I, I take action and I remove you, uh, and just like that, make you no vest. That make me the talking like this. Go ahead, sir. Uh, your name and where you are calling us from. Hello, can you hear me? I'm sorry, you are not talking. I need to move on to the next person. Uh, good afternoon to you. Uh, Mr. Joseph Oji, please talk to us, sir. It's Joseph here. I, I want to speak to Two Ninja, please. Go ahead. Um, Two Ninja, is Mr. Oji speaking. Guess what, Two Ninja? We, we, all, we all witnessed, you know, the Chatham House thing. When this man, the United Chairman, addressed everybody, we all witnessed every studio, everywhere he went to. This man addressed everybody, assured all Nigerians that there is going to be uploading, that all the votes will be uploaded automatically from every polling station. And he said the beavers, everybody who were doubting him, and he kept on reassuring the whole nation, telling us that all these things will be uploaded from the from the state from from all the polling units. Now you, you were, I was listening to you this morning. You said, oh, somebody needs to tell you how did it happen? How did all the reading happen? Have you forgotten all the few, uh, videos we saw? The gentleman, all the, the, the man in River State who said his life is being threatened. Weekend was threatening them with guns. Even the one in Lagos. The one in Lagos. Where, where everything has is being rewritten. And the lady in Lagos was able, at Akuda, was able to film them in one of the um, collection center where they were just using clippers and everything. And you're telling me that you need some evidence to be told. What do you expect? Is Tunumbu going to win Patakot? Or Tunumbu will win Benway? Name it. Even there are even some areas in the north where obese vote was reduced unnecessarily. And these are Christian areas, particularly in Niger, in, in, in Niger states. All the Christian areas in Niger states, everything was drastically reduced. Even Abuja. Abuja should go over a million. And you and play two, play two states, they are right, all of them are making trouble. They are rioting because they were expecting over a million. Everybody voted a man's OP. And you're telling me that you 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 need an evidence. Tell you what, guess what? Tunanja have known you for a long time. Even when Obi was campaigning, you kept on asking for security. Security, you kept on banging on unnecessary questions, questioning his ability. Question unnecessary questions. It shows that you are not for him. Just come out. Just it's so easy. Come out and tell us your mind. 
you get some questioning um, um, uh, his ability when it comes to military situation, even when he was not telling everybody. Telling nobody in China is this that oh, uh, nobody will go, he will, he will never go abroad for any medical treatment. If he gets here, we will all be treated here. And you, you still doubted him. You still doubted him too, Ninja. That means right from the word go, you were never for B. Just tell the truth. You were never for B. That's all. Don't speak your mind at all. You saw all the evidence is up and down in the whole country, and still you don't believe it. The, 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 I saw the evidence myself. The question is: Is it up to two point something billion? Everybody was. They said they did not go. Guess what? Those who voted for being Lagos, they are not Igbos, you know. Okay. Majority of them are Yoruba, because Thank they are fed up of this man. They've seen them in total. Thank you, and sir. And guess what? The governorship is going to be worse for Tolumbu in Lagos. Thank you, sir. It's Thank one you. of the worst because those who are who do you even vote, who do you even come out? This time all of them are coming out. Our phone Lagos, all my brothers are saying, yeah, this team has gingered all of them. Yeah, but but at the end of the day, Mr. Joseph, somebody that can ring presidency with this uh, uh, devilish satanic INEC, they, they can they can ring Lagos as well. So we should... Yeah, they, can, yeah, they, can, they, can, they can ring Lagos as well. Sure. But then, if the people are saying no... Hey, but the people, people said no say before. No. Everybody came out to vote for Peter Obi. The, the, the road were shaking. Nigeria was shaking. Both home and abroad. Everybody yeah, came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But did our vote count yeah, now? What, what, what happened so far? It tells you exactly what this man has, the way he's been operating in Lagos. That's what I'm saying. But you are telling people now that, 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 that they will not win Lagos. No. If they can ring a presidency, what is Lagos? Nigerians have to come out now. Because there, there were people who have to fight it out. Lagosians want to fight it out, seriously. They will have to fight it out. Because, number one, this is exactly what he's going to do in the whole nation, you know. He, these guys, the Western, let me tell you, Yoruba states are done for. This guy is going okay. to be picking who wants to be what. All right, sir. He's going to be, Yoruba states are done for, I'm telling you. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank okay, you, Mr. Right. Jason. God bless yeah. you, sir. Thank you. Um, hello, good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, madam. Where are you calling from? What's your name? I'm calling from Saple Delta State. Oh, wonderful. From Nigeria. Talk to us. What's your name? You didn't tell us your name. Okay, my name is um Okay, Judy. Mrs. Momo. Miss War. Mrs. Momo, from, Mrs. Momo from Saple. Okay, go ahead. I thought I thought this watch Niger was the one I'm watching from uh, YouTube. Yes, yes. Everybody, the world is listening to you. Yeah, this Niger was. Oh, okay, because I'm not hearing me talking now. Yeah, you, you know, because um, you cannot be watching at the same time. Maybe your 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 television or whatever your device is 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 slow. You will hear yourself talk okay, later. Just okay, pause no it, problem. please. Yeah, no go problem. ahead. Uh, please, I want to say something. Because what I want to say is that I want to agree. I don't know if it's the same platform. One lady talked about we following due processes. Yes, yes. I you just finished talking about, yes, yeah. Yeah, listen, let me just share my view. Because all through the night, I couldn't sleep. This has been a problem in Nigeria. If we say we should start protests, protest, things will go wrong. The way people are grieved is like an angry man. You want he, he's trying to prevent himself from crying, and you are pushing him. He will cry more than what he should cry. I think what that lady said go is fair enough. That wherever places they want to take it to, whatever court, whether it's the Supreme Court, we have youth with our black card. It is not. It will not be only Peter Obi that will be going to the courts. We, the youth, we stand up outside, no matter what it takes. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we are listening, madam. Okay, no matter what it takes, we will be at the surrounding. If they said it's fifteen feet, whatever feet, we will not cause any harm. We'll be there. When we are there, let them look at our face with every evidence that we will bring. We have raw, the youth has raw evidence. When you are talking of cyber and people with intelligence, you have them in Nigeria. We have every evidence from pulling unit to pulling unit. As I'm speaking with you, I have some kind of information that we need, but we don't need to bring it to the air. 
we need to keep it ourselves because if you're bringing all your strategy to the air, your opponent will be getting them and be preparing against you. So let's gather all our, our evidence together, keep them, give it to the reliable source that need it in the court of law, and we will march around. We will not, because the man will know that he is not dealing with Peter or B alone. He is dealing with the youth and the masses then. So whatever he says, we either put it on fire or it will make Nigerians to be peaceful. That's my own. Let us not go ask them because they are really, really ready for war. Thank you. Whether we like it or not, Thank they you. are ready Thank for you, war. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, call us. Everybody hold on. Uh, let me go back to the panel again. Um, all right. Um, I think. Let me see. To Nigeria, there's already protests going on now in Abuja. Yeah. As um, we speak, protests are started in Abuja now. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, protests will happen everywhere. But uh, be conscious not to talk about it at all. Uh, so I don't want to talk about it. I'm not here to to tell anybody what to do. If you know you are happy that you know the poll is right there. If you are happy, yeah, move on. You know, you live in Nigeria enjoy enjoy the moment if you're not happy also let people know so but i'm not here to tell people what to do we all are adults especially the, uh, we on the front line so we should know what to do on this particular time but as a nigerian as to demonstrate my constitutional right i'm not happy about this decision that's for me so but if you live in nigeria and you know you are not happy then take your own decision by yourself that's it if people are waiting for me to say anything pronounce anything on this channel i will never you know it's up to you if you live there or you know it's, it's, it's just up to you that's it so uh, let me let me give uh, uh more callers some time to talk right now uh mr fa go ahead talk to us i want to just beg you i want i want to go ahead May let me tell Mr. Tunaja, may they may the first eh, may control his submission. Um, the kind of submission where Tunaja they make for you. Yeah, if, if, if I tell money where I spend for this election, may I not carry this paper for 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 for, for may, may I not carry this bag for I eh? okay. let me your back and may they control his match. Eh? This All one right. is a commission person after the one. It's not for us. Thank you. It's Thank not you. for we uh, Nigerians are there, Baba Beg. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, good morning to you. Where are you calling us from? What's your name? Yeah, hello. Hello, sir. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Where, what's your name, sir? Where are you calling uh, from? Yeah, I'm calling from Rome. This is uh, St. Uh, Paddy. Okay, go ahead. Talk to I us. Have a word. I have a word for Ninja. Uh, I to Ninja. Uh, Mr. Man, I'm really disappointed at you. I just want to ask you a couple of questions. Are you proud of this election? No. Are you proud of Nigeria? He's, I am really, really disappointed no. at you. I don't want to call you a snitch. You understand? Because I've, I listened to you this morning in Rudolph uh, channel. You were talking between both of your mouths. I was watching uh, Flip TV this morning. I saw Tinubu people praising you, giving you kind of a commune for supporting them. And you come to Niger Watch and you are pretending that you are with us, you are supporting uh, Obi. Let me tell you, it's over. You just said something that I was supporting them, which is clearly wrong. No, to Niger, please, please, don't touch You're just lying then, you can't do it. Nigeria youth will never believe in any election again. No Nigeria youth will ever believe in this quagmire called an election. We are really disappointed. Oh, it is quite obvious that they ring this election. And you know, when you are trying to, to defend something that even the blind can see that they really rob us of our mandate. I am disappointed at you, my brother. Well, it's not over yet. I just want all Nigeria to stay resolute. Okay. We can still Thank do you. something. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. Can you hear me? Okay, I lost that. Hello?
Hello, can you hear me? You're not talking. Hello? Oh, God. Please, guys, bear with me. Uh, the phone is jamming right now. Hello, can you hear me? All right, can't hear you. Okay, Alice, can you hear me? Okay, wonderful. Okay, good morning. Talk to us. Yeah, good morning. I greet everybody on the on the panel and the comment session. Want everybody to take heart. Um, yes, I just want to tell the Nigerian government. Uh, they should respect a million and one Samuel Ekba and Dunam Bikanu and Sunday Bo in different tribes in the next four years. If they don't give or if they don't verify this election or review it again, because we cannot live in a nation where people are being killed. There are no justice. Their brother was killed under this government. There are no justice. Nigeria was left. Before I come back there, when you are in a panel like that, there are people. Who are devils? Jesus said to the twelve disciples, "Have I not chosen you?" And one of you is a Satan. There are devils, young people who are demons in, in human uniform that will never see it, say the truth, or that will talk from their both side, that will discuss with us in the morning and, and at night. It's with the devils, one way or the other, is is connected to them. They are wicked young people on different channels. They will never say the truth. They love the way Nigeria is going. They want us to be quiet. They want the killings to continue. They want people to continue to suffer. They want the electric darkness to continue. This is what they call development. They want the oppression to continue. They want the repression by a, a, a government with impunity to, to, to continue. They want politicians to flaunt their words on social media, to flaunt their cars on, on, on the media at the expense of citizens and development. This is what they call development. There are wicked human beings. That's why I don't want to come, come on board with, 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 with devilish, satanic, Lucifer-like young people like you, Niger. That's what I'm saying. For me, that, that's how it is now. And I have no apologies for that. People who are who, who open their eyes, young person, you just value a pot of porridge over the future of 200 million people. You dare say this election was election, even wow. though he was declared the winner today. I will not like it. For me, please allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. I did come here to, yeah, to I mean to how to, can to, we be friends. into our fields? Please, 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 now, please. Please. People are satanic, people enjoy drinking blood, people enjoy the bad road on our country, people enjoy politicians shooting people and letting people get under the same government, people enjoy politicians not obeying the rule of law. I mean, uh, uh, people enjoy leaders lying to citizens, people enjoy our, our diaspora who are dying in different countries for lack of justice because the government cannot stand for them. People enjoy the way the country is, young people. So there are satanic people everywhere. Forget about the English they speak. They are demons, and we know them now. With time, time has revealed everybody's true color. Many of them have stopped coming on this panel for a long time because the truth, like fire, has been burning them. So Nigeria, Walsh, I thank, thank you. you for your work, and have it in mind. Wherever you are, there in the in a panel like that, there are satanic people with 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 sweet mouths. The Bible called them. You know, uh, uh, there's a name the the Bible called them. There are wolves in sheep clothing. So and there are, um, if you like, you take a peak to 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 Buckingham Palace. It make a peak. So people are money because their mandates have been stolen. The votes were overwhelmingly for somebody else. They stole this election. We will stand by that. We don't care what the devil thinks himself. Even if you have spread his tentacles across all channels, talking to people, trying to count people that we know the game theory they are playing to us, preempting us, telling us okay. to go to court. If a chief tells you to go to court, that means his elder brother right. is the chief judge. Thank so you. for me, and I just want okay. to thank you and to, and to, and to, let, uh, to, uh, to let the whole world know because we won these elections, we have overwhelming evidence, and we, and we can present them if they want, okay. but we we'll leave everything to judge. But Peter, this country to speak is on its way now. Thank you. Peter Obi is going to speak to us now. Thank you. Let's listen to this quickly. The birth of a new Nigeria. We are immensely grateful to the youth obedience and all support groups including Nigerians in diaspora for their sacrifices, conduct and commitment to a better Nigeria. It is our position that the purported results did not meet the minimum criteria of a transparent, 
free and fair election. In addition to the most condemnable attacks, violence, voter intimidation, and suppression, the election was conducted in clear violation of agreed and promised annex rules and guidelines. The Electoral Act 2002 has amended and indeed the Nigerian constitution. As evident, the institutions of the state and leaders that were supposed to ensure the sanctity of the election, again, and as in the past, collaborated and colluded to subvert the will of the good people of Nigeria. Please be assured of our determination to fight the injustice that have been perpetrated on Nigerians through all legal and peaceful means. While painful, we implore you all to please remain peaceful and calm, as our fight and determination for a new Nigeria is just beginning. We equally encourage you all to continue with the campaigns and vote massively for Labour Party in the forthcoming governorship and states House of Assembly elections on 11th March 2023. Our principal, His Excellency Mr. Peter Ode, will in due course speak to you and indeed the nation. Thank you and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. So, Peter Ode, thank you very much, sir. Um, I have two questions, if my colleague permits me. The first one being, why isn't uh, Mr. Kitobi addressing this press conference? I mean, we hear that um, he's, uh, he's This is a prelude to his addressing the nation. That answers your question. Fair enough. Secondly, you're calling on your, uh, you've denounced the election. Yes. And you said they were not free and fair. Yes. Yet, you're calling for your supporters to go out on mass and vote in the next election. I mean, is it the same process? Until it happens, we don't know it. We cannot sit Nigerians, we cannot tell Nigerians not to vote, not to be part of Nigeria anymore. If you sit in your country and you don't vote, you don't belong to your country. Okay. okay. Hi. Uh, hello. Good, uh, good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned uh, legal action. Can you take possible legal action? Can you tell no, us? certain legal action. Certain, okay, certain legal action. Could you if it's certain, can you tell us more when exactly you're you allowed to go to court and on what grounds exactly? We will go to court within the stipulated time. Within the stipulated time. And uh, the legal team is at work already. And you'll we'll get more details from His Excellency Peter Abdi when he speaks. Like I said, this is a prepared to the speech. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I write for Igabi. John Akubo is in here. <clears throat> you were calling on supporters to go out and march on Saturday. Don't you have some fear for Lagos? Governorship election in Lagos. If the presidential election was what it was, how would the governorship be for your supporters? As far as we are concerned, the Federal Republic of Nigeria and, and its institutions are in place and in effect. As far as we are concerned, we, are, we shall con still continue to hold the Buhari administration to the promise of free and fair elections. That is the best that we know. Nigeria must, just like we are continuing the struggle, Nigeria must continue the struggle by exercising their rights. Uh, yes, uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, Kingsley Daily Independent. Many Nigerians believe, of course, they have valid reasons to believe so, that uh, the judiciary has been compromised, like other arms of government. How much confidence do you have that if your matter, if your case gets to the Supreme Court, you will get justice in return? Irrespective of the low level of confidence you have in the system, your responsibility is your responsibility. Nigerians contested the 2023 presidential elections through Peter Abi and my humble self. Uh, we are going to keep the struggle alive, irrespective of the very low confidence we have in any system. We had extremely low confidence 
in the promise of the government that they are the grand fair interest. Yet we went ahead. We went ahead into the elections. So um, it doesn't matter how low the confidence it is in the judiciary, the law is the law. And when, what's even, look, there's a confidence we have in them, and there's a confidence we have in ourselves and in our case. These are two different things. The confidence we have in ourselves and in our case is that elections, so to say, were not held. Because from the polling units, the Electoral Act 2002 as amended provided the direct transmission of results. It is that transmit, direct transmission of results that says elections were held. They were not transmitted. What results are you given? If there are no results, what election are you talking about? Now, going to the registration areas or what collection units, no INEC returning officer, he or she shall make entries without making reference to the existing ongoing concurrent IREV, active IREV, which did not exist. How did they collate? If there was no valid collation, what results are you talking about? If there are no results, what election are you talking about? Illegality has been performed. And as far as we're concerned, here is an incoming government for the Federal Republic of Nigeria that is illegal and unconstitutional. As far as we're concerned, it is now for the, we're submitting our case to the court, court of law. It is for them, irrespective of how much confidence the world or Africa or Nigerians have in them, irrespective, it is for them to show again that level of confidence. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, anymore. Uh, yes, there is a follow up to this. Else. All right, sorry. My name is Beatrice Kosa from Voice of Nigeria. So, Nigerians are worried, I guess, uh, when you rejected this, uh, when you rejected the outcome of this election. Will you support them to go into protest against these results? No, yes, answer this. Did you listen to my. Yes, answer this. And what really is the motive behind? posing this question yet over again. Um, if I may read it again, just for the record, which will submit to you, while he's opening it, um, no amount of questioning will ever get Peter or me or myself or any agent of the Labour Party or obedience whatsoever to ever preach anything besides peace and tranquility in Nigeria. We also ask Nigerians to continue to exercise their civic duties like we just did now with the um, upcoming elections. I have said that democracy belongs to the people who can practice it. Nigeria should continue to make efforts to practice democracy. Um, we, the only language we know is peace. That's the only language. If Nigerians are going to uh, achieve peace through peaceful protests, welcome. Okay. Any more questions? Second round. Just a very quick one. How is Mr. Pizzi doing? In what state of mind is he right now? He is better than one could ever imagine. He is <laughs> cheerful, he is hearty, he is healthy, he is strong. And what is more, he and I are even believing more and more in Nigeria and the Nigerian people. Here we are. Our movement is less than eight months old. And we won elections in the Federal Republic of Nigeria where they have, <laughs> where they have an eight-year concurrent government. As far as we are concerned, we won this. They refuse to upload results. They refuse to refer to IREF just for them to defeat us. It took a serving government, illegality and constitutional breach to defeat Peter Abe and my humble self. I tell you, we're winners. Nigerian people are winners. Nigerian people are winners. And Nigerian nation is waiting for a day that Peter Abe and myself will, through the rigors 
of illegal, illegality and unconstitutionality get to power somehow one day? Yes. Okay. I, I wanted to draw attention. Yesterday, the Senate debated on the issue of the coalition. There was disagreement. Finally, the Senate president tried to redefine what they did in the Electoral Act, as it has to do with the transmission, that what they passed was not exactly to transmit from the polling units, that it, it, what they passed was to be done manually. I don't know whether it was redefining it. Um, can I, can I, uh, I, I, I plead not to, uh, you know, the gentleman you're referring to, the Senate President, even though I'm a Senate, uh, I was a former Senator, and uh, believe in our integrity, this gentleman, uh, as far as we're concerned, he contested presidency. And then now is an elected senator, re, uh, returned by the Supreme Court, and you cannot contest two offices in the, the, the same election. You cannot. It is on record he contested presidency. Supreme Court now says he's senatorial candidate, and then he sits as Senate president to give us this kind of uh, opinion. Um, um, uh, it is very very difficult for me to say this, but I will have to say it. Such an irresponsible person must never be listened to. The last, the last, and I'm done. Okay. The last, um, if you don't mind, the last. Okay, Please, the last. Uh, uh, again, Kingsley Daily Independent newspapers. Uh, the People's Democratic Party agents, like your uh, party agents and another party agents, walked out of ICC yesterday. Uh, they, they requested they pardon me. They've been threatening fire and brimstone. I don't they, know that. I they, don't know. My I, question to you. No, no, no. I don't know that. I don't know that. I have never had any threats whatsoever since this began. Okay, I have this. never had any threat whatsoever. And anybody who is contemplating the use of such language will never face me with such thing. Okay, moving on, sir. Moving on. The question is, uh, what, what is the plan? To team up with this other party no. and go to court no, or we not? Went, we went into the election as Labour Party. We won, we won the election as Labour Party. We are going to claim our mandate as Labour Party. Labor party. <laughs> we shall rescue Nigeria as Labour Party. God bless you. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, well, just so that our colleagues will understand the nature of the row, I'll just introduce some people to the side of this excellence. So we have uh, to the immediate left, the Director General of our campaign, Aki Oshutoku. Uh, next to him as uh, Alaji Audi Mohammed, of the, uh, one of our uh, party functionaries. Let me just come to this side. Uh, of Baze, Oseloka, Ambassador of Bazi Oseloka, he is the campaign manager. And then to his side, two former ministers, Spidele Ngeze and uh, is Esther Nedlaki Usman. I think, uh, well, very importantly, uh, you see, as we are in this party, we are offering a new kind of leadership. If you look behind you, there, this is Se a senator elect, a senator and then a senator elect. <laughs> senator Victor, you mm -hmm. You see, this is the kind of leadership we want to offer. He uh, just stands with everybody else. We are not saying, oh, distinguished, you must sit. You, you know, so this is how it is. So, Your Excellency, thank you very much. We appreciate your speech. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm sure many of you are just full all If we have any other things to say, we'll get back to that. Right. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Yep. What did he say now that was so different from what I've been saying? All right. <clears throat> um, thank you very much, uh, everyone. Uh, that was, um, the vice presidential uh, candidate of uh, Labour Party, um, 
the Baba Dati. I mean, mm. so it just um, calmed everybody down at this particular moment, not to engage in any kind of violence. Uh, Mr. Peter will be okay. Uh, have Alex call it in. Um, Mr. Alex, go I ahead. know you, you asked me to come back because you said Obi was coming online. I, I wasn't done. Okay, okay, go ahead. Did you watch the press yes. conference? Yes, I did. I, I'm following you. That's why I called immediately. It's, I mean, it was, you know. Okay, okay, talk to us. So, uh, for, for, uh, for me, we won, the, we, we won it. It was stolen. That's it. We, we, uh, we won it. How do you expect people to trust the system again? How do you expect them to, you, you know, when you do things, you don't just do things with, with impunity and reckless abandon. Tomorrow, what mouth can you and I tell somebody get involved in the process? How can you look eyeball to eyeball to a Nigerian young person who is 19 years old now? Say, go and get your PVC. He will, he, will, he will fight you. He will insult you with what just happened when we saw videos of people in the north completing papers on the floor. Markets, women and young people completing thousands, if not millions of papers on the floor. Well, when we saw child voting, children voting the age of four years, five years, on under the same party, and you tell us to be quiet, that we need development. So we have been quiet. What development did we get, for God's sake? Under the same party, a young, a young, a young girl was murdered. Under the same party, no, no panel of inquiry was set up to check Deborah's death as we speak today. As, as we all see now, under the same party, Mr. Niger Wash. So, and you want us to be quiet. When overwhelmingly we have evidence before they could announce their results, China, uh, a Chinese TV, a red TV, we are already everywhere. OP is not stupid. It, it was networked everywhere. We have 130,000 agents in all the polling units. So, I'm pulling in it as three Labour Party agents, four with their Android phones, power bank ready. To transmit to Labour Party situation room. What are you talking about? You think of being stupid? Do you know how many people invested on this on this movement for the love of their country? Please, if you are working with Satan himself, so you and your conscience, and you will meet your destruction in due time. The blood of Nigerians who have been killed with 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 reckless abandon because of bad roads, Nigerians who have been killed abroad because their nation has failed them. Nigerians who commit suicide because of you know lack of future in the country, the 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 worries of Nigerians who are who cannot access to our after leaving school, my dear brothers and sisters, the nation will never remain the same. They've taken twenty steps backward. You cannot lie, black black lie on TV. For every action, there is a reaction. You can't continue like this. We've been quiet since like this. Let let him. What did we get? How far is the market? Where is the drinkable water? Where are the good roads? Where are the jobs? Is this how to run a country under your, I mean, in your mind? Singapore did not get 15, 20 years before they could develop themselves. People were not killed before they could develop themselves. Leaders came together to bring policies and citizens follow. And people, young people like us, collect money behind clothes doors, come to a platform like this to do a job like a snake. It's a Christian under the green grass to tell us what we should do, how we should behave, instead of facing the leaders who are the real enemies and the real devils. Does this sound like an, 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 an electronic, uh, 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 transmitted election according to the new electoral acts? We are all educated. We are not dummies, for God's sake. If you are with the devil, come out straight. Joshua said, choose yet this day who you, who, who you will serve. But for me and my asshole that Niger was, we will stand with the Nigerian people. It may be delayed, but it can never be denied. The massive poverty in the land, the massive hunger in the land, under the same government, people are hungry, people die of lack of medical care, and our leaders go abroad to go and get medical treatment. They fled their children abroad for school, and our schools are always shut down. In next one or two, three weeks now, or three months, after we start again, you tell us, you tell us to be to be well behaved, to be good citizens. So this is the only thing we are good at. We are not good at receiving the goodness other citizens get from 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 other countries from their governments. Ah, 
my God, people are wicked. People are dangerous. This is why Jesus told us that the prince of this world, there is a prince of this world. Satan himself controls this world. People are, people, there is a church of Satan in America. So people worship Satan deliberately. They worship those in power who brought that to Satan. Niger was, we will stand on the light, we will stand on the truth of being world selection. They stole it from him. This is why he's not talking. Everybody reacts to this differently. If, if I was Obi, by now, I know what I'll be doing. Everybody is different. So, Nigerians, you won the elections. I can never tell you to vote again. Never. Follow your conscience, follow your mind. According to Niger Watch, if you're happy with the situation, okay, carry on. If you're not happy, do whatever you want to do. How do you expect people to vote again, Mr. Tunaita? How do you take them to, to, to take their families back home to go and vote? Vote for what? Election that will not count? Exactly. Election that the laws will be broken? Yes. My dear brothers and sisters, the mandate was stolen. We won it. Be proud of yourself. Know that the thieves come in but to steal, to kill and destroy. They are waiting for us to go and protest so that they will miss military on, on, on the youth again. The answers. Okay, now, did we, did we get the result of the panel of inquiries set up? Please, 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 guys, be proud of yourself. You won the elections. It was stolen. It's like you building a house and somebody came to claim it. So it's not easy. There are two different things. You were not defeated. It was stolen from you. Young people, I'm proud of you. And I love you so much. I love the way you told them that you will not play football on the day of election. They need to accuse us that we don't participate. We don't participate. How do you tell somebody to participate now? People came out in millions. In Sokumi unit, they brought generator to charge phones. They even cook and get to annex staff and policemen. In so I, I've got those videos. They were playing music. They were happy. People stay on the police unit until 12 o'clock at night. Counting votes. Millions of votes were stolen. They were just changing the name. Remove OB, uh, replace it with uh, with uh, Tunubu. That, that was what, exactly what played out. And some of us who are young people, who are supposed to speak truth to power for future, for future generations, we are here because we, 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 we collected something one way or the other to sell our conscience. Just like Jesus is carriers. You, you, you are not alone. We can do it. I'm not, I'm not surprised. So we have betrayers, saboteurs, wicked young people who are enjoying the bloodletting. Listen, the kidnapping is going to topple because Shatima is going to be your president. This, this is the news. The, 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 the killings, mass invasion is going to double because this is a man that has overseen the activities of Boko Haram. If you don't know that his words, two more guests were kidnapped. He was the one who was fighting Jonathan to stop killing Boko Haram people. If you don't know, if you are afraid to hear the truth, what, what is coming for Nigeria is different. Something is coming. You don't know. You, you think you are joking. You've won elections. You've, you've suppressed people, you've repressed people, you've stopped their mandates. Guys, this will not stand. You won. They stole it. I'll come back again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me quickly come to the panel. Uh, call us. Uh, just hold on. Is, Hello. Uh, um, I'm Moyes Kona. Are you the one talking? Yeah, I wanted to say something. Okay, true. Okay, true story. Okay, go ahead quickly. I I understand the anger of my brother Alex. You know, people that does not they have not, they have not feel the pain. They can never understand this election how it is. If this man eventually loses election, we should forget about Nigeria. We should forget about that country that we have a country because what will be for us it will be more than what happened in, in the time of Buhari. You understand? This election will be winning and everybody we saw it everywhere. So I see no reason that uh, the way we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are fighting ourselves over this, you understand? So the, the, the way forward is what we are trying to uh, uh, look on to now as uh, the vice president uh, to uh, Peter Obi said, you understand? They will go to court. I just pray that court will give us a good answer. If court did not give us a good answer, they, they, they will not expect they, will not, they, they should be expecting the youth outside Nigeria. You understand? If not, if we don't take this thing by force, there is no how we can be able to win it. Because the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence will take it by force. So we will only come down for the court to, which we will hear from the court first. Because what, is, what we are seeing now is that they are trying to store this thing totally. Total stealing, broad daylight. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you, madam. Um, my people, as what you all can see here, uh, for some of you that try to join us, we have one space now. In case you want to join the screen, it is better you quickly come in. You know, okay, it's, it's occupied again now. All right. Um, you see, the media, it looks like they're already using some of the media against Peter will be because what they are trying to force from Labour Party right now is to hear that mm -hmm. Labour Party asking people to go on the street mm -hmm. and protest. Mm -hmm. You see, there were one uh, one mm -hmm. particular media right there on the press mm -hmm. conference that continued to ask mm -hmm. uh, a violent question. Mm -hmm. But I like the way mm -hmm. uh, that Ahmed, um, you know, mm -hmm. responded to it. Because this is what they want to hear. They want Peter mm -hmm. Obi to instigate uh, protests mm -hmm. or violence or anything. Then he will be arrested. Mm -hmm. will be they arrested. cannot arrest him. Just, they're just being cautious. But if they want to hear that, as far as I'm concerned, he could ask. He could ask for that. Please stop saying that the election is being rigged. That's that's happening. That's totally different from using beavers to capture data. <laughs> And then refuse to let it go to those who paid for it and say, do your worst. That's a totally different thing altogether. So I'm going to wait till my turn. Because I'm, I'm, I have the, to speak with my here. Ah, oh God. I'm it's sorry. not rigging the election. It's, it's the, the, the disrespect that we cannot do anything. Exactly. You, you know what I'm saying? That's totally different. They're rigging the election. That's true. But you, you can't come to the country and say, Give us 200 billion naira. We're going to develop a technology and then go all over the place and say, hey, look, when we deploy this technology, you should be rest assured that it's irrigable because uh, you're going to be, it's a bimodal. It's going to transmit this. It's photographic. It can't even be edited. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, be rest assured there's no rigging. And then uh, the citizens go and vote. Then you capture this data. You don't want to release yeah. it. That's like telling us, you can do anything, no matter what we do, because you're gonna do a protest and walk around. That is not gonna be acceptable. The, uh, Peter B has his issue. He's a, he's a party, but we the citizens we're party as well. Exactly. What do they have? What are we doing? We can carry guns to defend our mandate. Yes. It shouldn't what? be everybody. It's yes. People should be waiting for Peter O B. That you can have yes, that's weapon. my point. Yes. yes everybody is waiting for that. Peter O B. What That's is my point. doing about it? Don't, can, I, can I respond to all the things? What, what, I, what, I, think, what I think Nigerians should do is that... Hold on to Nigeria. They okay. should keep on hammering. This election has been stolen. If they keep saying this, believe me, something will happen. That will start. But ah. if they try to te start telling, oh, come on, oh, calm down, calm down. I'm not saying people should go on the street to go protest. You know, I said it earlier because I know they're going to come after them. They're going to shoot them. They don't have any backup. That's fine. No problem. But if they keep hammering this, hammering that, this election has been stolen. Listen, guys will do stuff because when guys start to do stuff, they don't want to be blamed. So they want Nigeria to support them. That's the truth. Okay. Um, let me hear from uh, uh, Collins. Yeah. Then I come to true Niger. Uh, Collins, are you there? Okay, Collins, you're not said a word old, old Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Okay, Omoye, Omoye, after, after I'm here. Niger, I'll come to you, Omoye, please. Uh, Collins, please talk to us. Okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, first of all, like I said before, uh, this is what I said before, that we shouldn't be waiting for P2B to come out and say Nigeria, go and protest. If we're waiting for P2B to make that announcement, that means we're wasting our time. Like I said here, Peter, we have to do his own part, and we in Nigeria have to do our own part. So our own part is we have to go on the street for the world to hear our voice. Because if you don't, if you don't come out on the street to talk, how will the world hear your voice? How will people know how you are feeling? It's when you come out and tell people that you are sick that they cannot provide a solution for you. So if we keep our hands and hoping that the only court is going to solve this issue, court is not going to solve this issue. If because if we can be able to put pressure on them, with that pressure, trust me, then you will not see the court working in our own favor. But if we now relax and say, okay, let Peter and his team do the whole thing, 
my brother, we are wasting time. Remember what Peter B said. We are running, we are running this present through Peter B. We this is our own as in this is our thing that we are campaigning for. It's not Peter B. This issue shouldn't be by now. I was thinking by now, Nigeria should not be on fire. If it means Nigeria to be on fire, let him be on fire. There is no protest, there won't be no violence. If there is anywhere there is a protest without violence, please point me in that direction. Let me see. There is no protest on this planet. There is no violence. Every protest goes with violence. So because of that violence, that is how people be able to realize whatever they want to achieve. So if you are telling me that don't preach, nobody should go and destroy. No, there is no protest on this planet. Even when they go and protest, they still violence. So if you are telling that, that me that the government that, doesn't start a violence, no protesters go to start no a protest. violence so, because the government so, has a lot of power and a lot of ammunition. But it's so, the government that determines if there's going to be violence or not. So it's it, the issue is that we paid for beavers, and we want our we've paid two hundred billion naira for it. We want the beavers, like I said before. You go to the 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 rivers, the, the where you have men, right? It's not everybody. Now there are many parties that are agreed. You have Christians. That, like me, I'm speaking, I'm not speaking for obedient movement. I'm not part of the obedient uh, uh, campaign. But as a Christian, I can't have Muslims not letting us have some respect. We let you have all the power. We Please, let, you let, let the guy finish we let his you point have the, the so that some other person can speak. House. We let you have the presidency so that then you're going to turn around because we, we just let you have it because we don't want a war. We don't want to fight. See, then you you have been waiting. Shut up. Shut up. After he speaks, after he speaks, so I can speak. Omo you can speak. You can't be the only one speaking and dividing. He's not gonna let me talk. You have to mute him, or I'm gonna get the hell out of here. It's not your turn. He 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 ought to shut his dirty mouth. It's not your turn. So if 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 the Muslims are going to be taking disrespecting my own religion and my own people, killing us, I'm not supposed to talk. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I, I'm not an obedient. I'm not. A, 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 you know, big campaign. You, you I'm talking about to talk Christians, fast. North and South, should not let this happen. Then you have the youth. The youth can have you a let, right. Who was this the person speaking? Right. Can you can you let the person, the, the original speaker, carry on? I, I will, but you shut your mouth. Please carry on the original speaker. Otherwise, I will speak for myself. So, like I was saying, like I was saying, my brothers. We shouldn't be fighting ourselves because this is what APC wanted us to be doing. We should be channeling this anger to the APC, to the Nigeria, the first state called Nigeria. That is what we should be channeling our energy, our fair politician. That is what we should be channeling our energy. Like I said here before, anybody that is trying to maybe want any start, they want somebody to throw you start or how this election has been done, you are wasting your time because you saw it live. Everybody saw how this election happened. People come out. Do you know the number of people that come out? This is the first time even in Nigeria history. This is the first time people have been able to have this kind of number. And after the whole thing, you are telling me that about 18 million people voted for this election or 15 million people. Are you trying? Are you kidding? So all I'm just asking Nigeria by now, you know, I said this, Mr. Nigeria, watch, if you watch me, I said that the day that the border was born in Sokoto, I watched the Nigeria body language and they couldn't react. That was the day I kind of said, what is wrong with this country? A lot of things happen in Nigeria. By now, Nigeria is supposed to be on fire. When I mean on fire, because when I mean on fire, the whole place is supposed to be raising. That is how it's supposed to be done because there is no place. Watch other African countries. Watch other part of the, even in Brazil, everywhere. If such a thing happened, we have people know very well that this is what they voted and they went and tapped it. By now, the anger, the way people are supposed to be showing their anger. I wonder what kind of country that this can, as Nigeria is, everything we're trying to swallow, everything we wait for God to come and perfect everything for us. Every, we shouldn't be waiting for this miracle. I don't know if this miracle have started to convince us everything we now expect God to come and perfect his miracle. What miracle are we talking about? God has given us everything, all armor, everything on this planet that we should make use of. So we have everything. I expect Nigeria by now, Abuja, that Senate, that Abuja sector, that by now is supposed to be burning in every part of the nation, everywhere is supposed to be burning. And that is how this, right, as a, I don't call it protest, I call it riot. It's supposed to be a riot because it's no longer a protest. It's supposed to be a, 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 a process because if you're trying to do it by, by peaceful way, it's not Nigeria is not a country that you do things in peaceful way. It's not going to work. Me and you know, all of us are from Nigeria. We know how things are being done there. So if we are expecting anybody to go there and be clapping, you are wasting time. 
All I want Nigerians to go, go on the street, anywhere you find anything, keep the asking. If it means to destroy everything, burn it, so that they will understand the anger on people. Because we can't keep tolerating all these fools. Because when you keep giving them chance, they keep, you know, taking advantage of you. Nigeria, as our politicians have taken advantage of us since, I would say, since 1960, since the independent of Nigeria, we've been living in this kind of, uh, in this kind of dream that can't be able to be filled. We should wake up from our dream, wake up from this sleep and realize that this election, as in, if we don't get it right now, trust me, Buhari wasted eight years of my life. Do you know what eight years means? Then wasted eight years of my life. And you expect me to wait again for another eight years for me to be able to realize my dream. Are you crazy? So if anybody that is waiting for P2B to come and provide stars, uh, Labour Party to come and throw you every start you want, my brother, go and relax, be sleeping. We have to go on streets, do our daily job that we as citizens supposed to do. We don't need to wait for the Labour Party to come and tell us or Peter to come and take the microphone and say, uh, 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 then to go to sit and protest. We are wasting time. It's also a lawyer. So, uh, so, uh, okay, all right. All right okay, all right. Ken, good to see you. Good How are you? Off. Let's listen to Kenneth Koko. I'm blessed. And you? I'm very, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, first, give okay. us a uh, Please, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't want to be addressed as a doctor or anything in Nigeria again. I'm Kenneth Ogunko. I do not intend to go by any title again in Nigeria until such a time that Nigeria has become a new Nigeria. There is no title in Nigeria today that is honorable. By whatever name you call it, whether bishop, pastor, or doctor, or professor, I am Kenneth Ogunko. So Ken, please, Ken, I want Ken. to be addressed like that. If you want to add anything, add Mister, so that people will know I'm a man. Ken, please you, proceed. You end, you end this. This is not a honorary doctorate degree. You end is a professional uh, uh, thing. So wh why are you throwing it on the altar? Why are you throwing it away? Something that you end through your sweat. Why are you throwing it away on the altar of uh, uh, politics? I I am Kenneth Okunwo. So, okay. Simple. <laughs> you can add Mister for people to know that I am a man. Okay, can I <laughs> for now, can until such a time that Nigeria becomes honorable enough to make people to be proud to bear any title. Okay, Ken, good to see you and uh, welcome again to the election situation, to the election situation room. Give us your. Uh, view about uh, what has happened. We have a president-elect now as announced by the Electoral uh, Commission. Uh, what is your pulse about it? Well, I must be very honest. In the eyes of the law, there was no presidential election on the 25th of February, 2023. None. In the eyes of the law. And I begin to tell you about the law. The law is very clear. In section 60, as how you will conduct an election. Now, let me leave other areas, as in you bring your PVC, you'll be accredited, you vote. Let me start from after your voting. The law says you will have to count and announce at the polling unit. Then, after announcing, he said you have to transfer the result in a manner that INEC has configured. And INEC has configured. And I'm quoting section 60, subsection 4, 5 of the Electoral Act. And in clause 38 of the guidelines, INEC has made it clear it's going to be electronic transmission of results. From the pooling unit, not collation center. And the Electoral Act went further in section 60, subsection 6, that anybody that willfully contravenes this has committed an offense and is liable on conviction to the sum of 500,000 naira or at least six months in jail. Meaning, whoever contravenes this, is an internationally recognizable electoral fraud star, no longer an INEC official, because the procedure is clear. The question now is, on the 25th of February, 
was there and was the accounting an announcement and transmission or transfer of results of the presidential election the answer is no and let me say something about the beavers because nigerians have been deceived unnecessarily the beavers worked perfectly correctly there was nothing in the beavers that was wrong why did i say so you had three elections on the same day 25th of february the senate the house of representatives and the presidential election how come the beavers worked very well during accreditation how come it worked well in the senate how come it worked well in the house of representatives and then in the presidency you say beavers there was a glitch the same machine Conducting three results, three elections. No, there was no glitch. What you had was deliberate, willful manipulation of the divas by the INEP officials, on officials to declare Bolatinubu the president. Nothing else. And why do I say so? In section 64 of the Electoral Act, from subsection four he said you cannot collect you cannot announce when you are collecting except you know was used was subject to verification and confirmation with the accredited the list of accredited voters as specified in the divas and the list of the votes as recorded by the beavers these are the things you have to collate on so whenever you're collating you cannot collate or announce except you verify and confirm the correctness the consistency of whatever you're collating or announcing with what is already in the beavers no, 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 I'm really now difficult. here is the no, point i neck after 24 hours or so. Say they had a glitch. No, you can't eat there. Uh, Meaning, you to eat. that is an admission to eat. that no presidential result was transmitted from the polling unit. None. Because you cannot approbate and reprobate. You said you had a glitch. Of course, which was a lie. Uh -huh. But that is an admission that you did not transmit the result from the polling unit. Then you have to okay. It's when you were collecting... You went into That's manual collation. What were you verifying it with? What were you confirming it? Because there was no uploaded result of the presidential election in the beavers by your own admission. So eventually, you went and announced a result which Nigerians have not seen or known because the whole idea of electronic transmission of results, the whole idea is that before collation, every nigerian citizen would have had the result now INEC was uploading in irev portal the hard copy of every result of the polling unit even before the electronic transmission of result how come they did not do it this time when we spent 305 billion naira this is the worst election that has ever been held presidential election and Professor Mahmoud will go down in history as the worst chief electoral officer of this nation. So it is very clear. The law was not held. What would they have done? You go back to section 24, which said, if any emergency arose during the election, then INEC will suspend the election and announce another date and hold the election. So, if there is a glitch that will stop you from transmitting the result, that is a fundamental issue in the law. As a matter of fact, the whole Electoral Act 2022 was predicated on the electronic transmission of result. Recall that when they amended the act and they did not include the electronic transmission of result, Nigerians unanimously rejected the act. And the president had to veto it. And the National Assembly now even gave INEC more power 
than electronic transmission of results. They said we will give INEC the latitude in case in future a new technology appears, they can do it without recourse to the National Assembly. So BIVAS worked perfectly well. Do you see anybody complaining about the senatorial election or House of Representatives election? How come that the presidency is what they're complaining? Because there was no election as long as the presidential election was concerned. Because anything you don't do in accordance with the law, the law presumes you a criminal. So what is remaining is for all those INEC officials that were involved in this fraud from Professor Mahmoud to be arrested, investigated, and prosecuted, and sent to jail. Do you know that today, they have not shown us the IREF portal that has all the results. So what they are planning now is they will use the collected results, they will go back and know whether they can start feeding it in to rhyme with their manufactured results so that they can tell Nigeria. Because the process is that you cannot collate and announce until you verify and confirm using the BIVA. BIVAs, the accredited voters, then the number of votes which BIVAs recorded, the results. So, but now what they are doing is to use the manually generated collated figures to go and start feeding in the BIVAs. This is more than 72 hours after the election. And the whole idea of Electoral Act 2022 is that Nigerians will have the result before you start collation. Collation was to be made formality. Just to add the results from different locations, which Nigerians already have, because you have no business transferring results from collation center. No business at all. It's from the pooling unit. So there was no election, no presidential election on 25th of February. And it's good that Nigerians should know that. Okay. So when INEC is ready, they will conduct a presidential election. Ken. Okay. Ken. Okay. Have you landed now so that we can uh, ask, so that we can engage uh, some of the things you have said? Can you, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Uh, uh, okay. I've landed because I, I know that uh, you people are going for so that you can you know, cross-examine. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's start from the process for the election don't you think you omitted something very crucial when you were stating the process for instance when you vote when voting ends in a polling unit and it is counted the result is entered first of all in a result sheet right yes the sure. next stage is that agents of political party who are at the polling units are giving copies yeah. of the result. Then the sure. polling officer proceeds to use the beaver's machine to capture the result. And it is sure. what he has captured, which he has given to party agents that he sends to the porter. Isn't it? Isn't that the process? Exactly. So, it was so, not so before, before there was a glitch. So, bef so before the before the the result is yes. uploaded, party agents and political parties already have what the result is at fully units. Now, what was I'm still telling you that the party agents do not have the right to collect. They do I'm not have the right to Ken, announce. You are, Ken, you are not listening <laughs> to me. So what? Ken, what Ken you are not listening to is, me. If you remember what I was telling you, Ken, please let I me said, ask the question. From what? after that, from after that, nothing happened again in accordance with the law. Ken, so you have not listened to that, me. And so all the results the party agents have is not in any way in tandem with what they are announcing, and it is because they did not do the remaining process at all. So the party agents do not have the right. And they will even tell you, you don't have the right to announce results. They should stop announcing fake results. Meanwhile, they are the ones that have fake results because they did not upload it in the portal. What we are talking now is electronic transmission, not manual. So that hard copy that the agent has, even if he presents it in court, the 
the, the rule, the law says it has to be made subject to verification on what was uploaded in the beavers before they can even collate and announce. So as long as that announcement, that transmission did not happen in the polling unit, in the eyes of the law, there was no election. Okay. Can I, can, I, can I ask a question now? Can I ask a follow-up question? I am sure as a lawyer... Hello? Yes, Ken. I'm sure as a lawyer, you have been involved in some election petition cases. And you will know that in decided election petition cases, the tribunals and the courts have heard that the foundation for an election petition is anchored on results generated from polling units. I'm sure you are aware Thank of that. Thank you very much. That is Not the on collation center. Not on collation center. Exactly. Good. There was no result. Ken, you are not allowing me to there ask no you result. questions. Hello? You are not allowing me to can, ask you I questions can. so that you'll be able to answer properly. Okay. Are you are you are you asking? Go ahead. Yes. The question I'm asking is that you are aware that the foundation for anchoring any disputed election uh, in the tribunal is results generated from the polling units because party agents are giving copies right and i assume that because of that that is why your party for instance the labor party had 100 and uh, 176000 polling agents cutting across all the polling agents where election took place or where election was, was supposed to take place on saturday it was for the purposes of them having that primary evidence, which is the results from the polling unit. And it is when you, your agent has been given that result that the polling officer snaps the result and then forwards it to a porter. So I'm saying that even in the absence of the results from the porter, a political party that wants to know what the result of an election is already has them by collating the results from the polling agents that it has at the polling of uh, units let's settle that issue first all right now strictly speaking in law you would have to tender the evidence certified through copy of the evidence because the court would want to be sure that the copy you the agent is producing is correct so even if you have your own copy INEC has to certify it one way or the other for it to have real force of the law. And now, that was the mischief that the Electoral Act 2022 wanted to solve. So now, what we are saying is that even if the agent presents any copy, the only way to verify it, the only way to confirm its correctness or consistency is by what Beavers recorded. That is the new thing about the Electoral Act. And by what was announced and transferred on the day of election in the polling unit, not collation center. So even if you, the agent, goes to court, the court must take cognizance of the beavers so because it was not announced from the pooling unit it was not transferred it is void ab initio because there is no room in the law to transfer any result or announce it in the collation center what you do in collation center is add add that's the only reason for collation center now not to announce results or this then when you have finished adding that's ceremonial before announcing a winner, Nigerians already have it. Okay. So, by okay. Professor Mahmoud, because he's the chief returning officer, not verifying publicly, not confirming, mm. and that is the position of law section 64, subsection 4. Uh -huh. okay. Subject to, he said, the collation officer or returning officer shall 
collate and announce subject to verification and confirmation with what is recorded in the beavers, the accredited voters and the votes in the beavers. So, and he said, if you do it, you are a criminal. It's a criminal offense for which you should send to jail. Now, Professor Mahmoud announced a result that he cooked up in front of the whole Nigeria without verifying it, the authenticity, the correctness, and consistency with it, with what is in Bivas. Okay. And if he does not do it, he has become an international like pool. He has become an international recognizable electoral fraud star by the electoral act. So the question is, did he do it? Yes, he announced the result without collating and announcing it exactly. subject to exactly. verifying and confirming the authenticity with what is in the beavers. I, I, I didn't even see one beavers there. Somebody in the electoral uh, uh, in the collection center pointed out, sir, can you place on your signboard or on your TV, please, what the beavers have so that you would test the authenticity of this which none of us, the agent, has and which we should have. So what I would have had if I was there was the uploaded result by INEC in their IREV and in their portal, which they gave all of us link. So you will now confirm whether what you have is what is being announced, what is being collated. And openly, Professor Mahmoud openly disregarded this law. And Ken, I was very Ken, embarrassed Ken, when some senior Ken, lawyers. Ken. Ken, can you, can you just pause for a moment and... To do this then was to uphold the rule of law, to uphold the process of the law, not to tell... Let him allow them to ask questions. I, I don't know whether he has stopped, no. because he needs to stop talking so that he can listen to the question I want to ask him. Okay. If he keeps talking, he won't hear the to know, Ken, are you ready for me to ask you a question now? Go ahead. Ken. Go ahead. I wasn't hearing you before. Go ahead. Yes, I can hear you. I just you, heard you. You can hear me. Yes. yes, I can hear you now. All right. Let me take you to section 64 that you have been referring to. I'll read it out to you yes. so that you so that you then respond to it. Are you ready? I'm Go going ahead. to read section 64. Go I'm going to read section 64, subsection 5 and 6 to yes. you. Of the electoral act section subsection 64 subsection 4. okay i will i will start, I will start from four i will start from four the summary i will start from four yeah? because it, that section doesn't end with four so okay, but i will start okay. from four but before then before then sorry if you can read section 60 section 60 subsection 4 and 5 and 6 section 60 subsection yeah. 4 5 and 6 read all right i'm on section i'm on right. section 60. you said i should read four and five huh? yes subsection four five six four five and six i'm starting with four and yeah. the section 60, 60 by the way is counting of votes and forms it says the precise i'm, yeah, I'm on go four go ahead go ahead to subsection four from section 60 so that we don't waste time Yeah, go ahead. Section 60, subsection 4, 5, 6. Read. Yes, uh, Ken. Section 60, subsection 4. The, first of all, before we yeah. go, before we go, Ken, let me caution you a little bit. Professor Mahmoud is not on this platform. He's not on this platform. He is also a public officer. It is not allowed for us to allow you to call a public officer names, particularly when he's not on the same platform with you, to respond. 
So please, I will, I, I will enjoy you not to refer to anybody as a criminal or as committing crime. You are not a court of law. You cannot hear pronounce somebody a criminal. Is it's that the case? We have a big problem with okay. our media in Nigeria. All right, before I respond to what you're saying, NUG. let us read Nigeria the, Union the, 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 the law first. The biggest problem I'm, I'm, I'm just cautioning you so that you don't travel that road again. Yeah. No, that, that is what I'm saying. Before I respond, let's read the law first. It is the Dad, law. Please, and before then we read the law, what please I listen to me. Listen to me. You cannot lead us to trouble. You are trying to lead us on a path that is not right. Ken, please, first of all, take it back that nobody is a criminal. You have to take that back first before we continue. You have to take it back and no, apologize first, before we continue. Look, first of all, uh, Benga, wait. First of all, and I am talking now as a lawyer, when you catch somebody on doing a crime by law, you have the right to say this person committed an offense. But the difference is that he will not be sent to jail or penalized, except the court says so. Ken, I said, read the law. Ken, I insist he, he that committed you cannot... the crime. I Ken, have the right to say he committed the crime. Ken, I insist that you are not a court of law and you cannot, you yes. as Ken, a lawyer, no, pronounce somebody a criminal he on the, the live crime, program. Read the law. Read the law. Read the law. If you can, the law, if you the cannot, law from what he did, because he did it openly. He you cannot openly. you cannot pronounce somebody so a criminal the law. by you the law. if you don't want to read the law then there's an individual nothing I can and do. a lawyer. Yes, you can't tell me to take back the law. Read the law. I am I'm not law. asking you to take back the law. I'm asking you to take back your take back your words calling the INF chairman yes. a criminal. Please take that back. Yes. You cannot pronounce Hold him a on. criminal. I said the INEC chairman that he offended section 60. Subsection 4, 5, and subsection 6 say if you offend such law, you have committed an offense. So what you do is read. Is, is the that your position now? Because that is that would be better. If that is your new position, that is better. But you actually pronounce him a criminal in the first instance, which was why I said no. I back. said if he broke this law, he has become an internationally recognizable electoral fraudster. So what you would that do is, is even read worse. The law I don't think I Nigerians. want to continue with you along this line. Why please. not? Why I don't, don't think I want, want to continue with you. you. If that is your position, I will not you. continue with you, please. I okay. would. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have another guest here in the studio. Please, let's continue with Barista. You cannot. You are a lawyer now. You should know what the law is. Oh, God. We can't proceed with you. If you cannot take take back what you said, and you are even using worse words, calling somebody okay. internationally okay. recognized okay. first time. That's wrong. Please. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I think the law. There's nothing in the electoral act which says Mahmoud, ja Mahmoud Jacob is a criminal or an international fraudster. There's nothing in the law which says that. You are the one saying it. See, they muted him and they removed Can him. we take a break, please, uh, so that we can get uh, uh, Barry right, please? He is eating the nail on the head. That is why they are cutting him off. Hi. It, ah. it, it, it is not and, surprising and to you, hear and you expect to get things. justice in the court have, with this type of people. Nigeria is finished. You think you're going to get it's justice not. to the court with this type of people? Exactly. Come on. You're going to get justice when you go to court like this? What, 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 what are court are we All our about? media <laughs> have been compromised. Yes, have Nigeria been media have been compromised. This is yeah. unacceptable. Yeah. Ah, I pity for Nigerians that live in Nigeria, though. At this particular moment, you guys want me to speak for you. It's a big shame. Now, so I go leave him. It's a big shame. Let me move on to the next person to talk. Oh my yes, Connor, please talk to talk to I, me. I, I, I was supposed to speak. I about. think I'm not done. No, he no, just no. cut me off. So, so Niger, everybody. No, no, has please don't worry. I'll come back to all of you, please. Please. What do you say, Omo yes, Connor? Yeah, I said everybody has been speaking. Please, can you can you mute your microphone? Stay mute, everybody, stay mute, please. Omo yes, gonna talk to us. Thank you, wow. Mister. Uh, thank you very much, Mister Elvis. Um, I believe that the video that yeah, yeah, don't worry, you will talk after Omo yes, gonna please, eh? Please, I don't want him to talk after me. I beg. I don't. I don't trust to Niger.
Yeah, but so, he, when it gets to his time, he still needs to talk. Eh, uh, but not after. He's me. supposed to be talking before you, except you want him to talk now. Eh, uh, let him go, I beg. Let him okay, go good. Now. Because you were taking his this, position. This, I Niger, Mr. Niger, Mr. Niger, what I never finish. You stopped me because of Kenneth. Okay, 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 all right. No, no, no. You talked for more than nine minutes, sir. More than nine minutes. I don't think I talked. No, no yes, I mean, I'm not please. the one. The person, please, person you was talking. Up so I have to be round, up. round up now in two minutes, please. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, maybe I put my time to Omoye, so maybe she can use the time because she has a lot to say. No problem. No, okay. Uh, Tunaja, please talk to us. Yeah, thank you. Um, I think this thing that we do, where we act as if just because somebody doesn't is not in our position, then we are, the person is a traitor and all that stuff, really needs to stop. It's not going to get us anywhere. I've been in. I've followed political cycles before. I'm here in the UK, where nobody that you want to elect ever gets into office. The last guy that was for the people, they they accused him of anti-Semitism. They handed him out of office. Handed him out of uh, this in uh, the office. Then he, 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 somebody that is part of the establishment took over his party and banned him from even being able to run. A previous party leader. This type of things is not new. Welcome back. You're still on to the Nigeria election situation room. Before we went on a break, we did um, tell you that, 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 that we have playing. Barista Onyekperi here. And I want enactment of the 2020. So, no, I'm not done. The, the video, there was a video that was just playing just now. And the, the, in the House of Parliament, when you refer to people, uh, um, this in, uh, you, you, there's a certain word you say to people, they'll say you have to retract it because technically you are breaking the law by accusing them of stuff without doing stuff that is not exactly new so some of all the things we see and we just blow everything out of proportion oh our nation is the worst i really think we need to stop it we are grown-ups look at the world for what it truly is i don't understand this there are women in hospitals there they are all elderly people all you go one is tear everything up because you are young because you don't have child with you how do you develop a country when every single time anything happens, let's tear everything up? Why, why, why does it always have to come? Let's tear everything. Did you hear what Obidati said himself? When, when he said those things, are you having a go at him? But if I said it, oh no, you are a sellout. You are they paid you and all that nonsense. Because you want to go and invite military into the country. If you if you carry on with this kind of madness. Then when you have another military, you can't. You don't have the right to choose. Who. If you come out on the street, he shoots you. That's what you want. After twenty-three years of democracy or twenty-four years of democracy, we go and lose it and set ourselves backward. How are we going to develop then? Because you don't have a say. You hope that the military guy is for you, but if it's not, you are done for. Like a, like an IDB was. IDB destroyed our country. I was young. We traveled to the UK and Nigerian Naira was the same as the dollars. One man came to office. By the time he left office, our country was in tatters. One military regime did all that. And he would just think, you, you can just tear up democracy and let's go to another military. Then you, you guess what's going to happen. Do you have, did you vote in? Do you know who is going to come? Do you know whether it's going to be in the mode of Peter Obi? What is the essence of Peter Obi? Tell me. If it's not to develop the country, not to make life better for the people. Just because he's not enough, it doesn't mean you can still do those things. Just because Peter Obi is not in office, doesn't mean you can still fight for those things and get those things done on the ground. People are doing it every day. Why is it that every time we see, we come to a cost in the road, let's tear everything up. Let's Tonight, I'm sorry, I have to interrupt you. True Niger, that means doesn't want the country to be better, betterment for the people. Why are you still, why are you still here in short? Betterment for the people. Who are you? Betterment for the people is not the country. Please. No, you are the country. You are the country. People are the people. People are the people that are standing on the ground. I am in Nigeria. True Niger. You don't want to go and destroy your lives over and over again. This is for all these people that just keep working anarchy. You don't care about the people. You just claim you do. Because of your anger, you have to put your life at risk. 
Watch your tongue. Okay. Because of your own anger, because of your own passions, you put people's lives at risk needlessly. Not okay. yours. Go and put your own life at risk. For the fucking country where you are. People fuck no, on no, that. No, 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 Everybody stay mute, please. I'm sorry about please. the F word. Don't use the F word here. It's prohibited. Please. Sorry about that. Obi so said we need peace. Why? That is said we need peace. You have to know why they are saying that. Because they know better. They know the stability to, to fix what anything. What side are you on to Niger? What side are I'm you on? on the I'm side of the people. No, Tuna that is with I'm not blind not on the side of you, my friend. I've been listening to you. The only time I'm but blinded by passion is people that want to kill our people for no reason. You want to kill our people for no reason. How is that going to fix our country? That is the one that makes me mad. Why do you think I'm here? I'm not here for one election. There is a bigger struggle out there. It's not only just for about Peter B. What is the essence of Peter B? I ask you. What is his essence? What are those things he needed to do? You, if you know that, then you know where the direction you need to be going. If you know what we lost, why our country is like this, then you know where you need to be going. Instead of just fighting, oh, because the election didn't come the way you want, or oh, let's just go and burn the country up. Even when the leader tells you he needs peace so that he can be able to do what he needs to do. If they read this election, we will be able to find it. We will find it. That is how you go about this. Is all those on the FU that they would, that were registered, all those rigging, all those changing of numbers, they will track it down. Before you go and do something, I've said it before. There are people that are saying that if this guy wins this election, there's going to be a coup. And the excuse those people are going to use, uh, what do you think coups? How do you think it happens? The excuse people they use is anarchy on the street. Uh, oh, look at all the countries have had coup in Africa. Let him run off. His time is almost up. Please, no interjection. Let him so we, we have to be careful when we keep advocating destruction of our country because people are out there trying to develop the country. If you cannot develop, how can you get out of this? How can you how can you build good hospitals? How can you build good schools? How can you innovate? You have to have space for it. Every single time we want to rip our country apart. You know how many there's no election we don't have this. Okay. There's no election we don't have this. Even primary, even the governorship election, we have this our problem. We can't keep all the time looking to destroy the country. Thank you. Thank you, Tunaja. Thank you so much. Uh, your Thank you. Um, uh, please, everybody, let everybody vent their anger right now. Anyhow they want to vent it, as long as they are not against the rules of this platform, that is fine. Let everybody vent their anger. And you also have the right to oppose, disagree with anybody, but you don't have the right to insult anybody on this platform. Please, let's understand that. Now, uh, I'll move on to Omo Yes Corner now. Omo Yes Corner, please talk to us. Thank you very Good much, Mr. To you, Mr. Elvis. Uh, greetings, everyone on the panel and everyone oh, commenting. Oh, um, so, just to quickly respond to what uh, Tunaja just said. To Niger, please do not put words in people's mouths. You are the one who is using every wrong word possible. You're saying that you are you are accusing people here, saying that they are they are saying they should tear up the society, they should fight, they should destroy, they should. You're using all the wrong words. So it is by your own mouth that you're using that you're calling those actions. So you better be res you better hold yourself so you responsible hear Alex for those it. words. Okay, you, you were not Niger, listening to Alex. Tunaja, I did not Tuna interject. No, when no you don't interject anybody. Tunaja, please interject. I stop me, people please. from interjecting. Hey, do, hey, do Niger, caution this to Niger now. Please. We are not kids here, so, please. He's not so talking to his junior brothers. What's all this now, to Niger? Okay, ah. so Go ahead, no now, so now I'm going to ask. I'm going to tell you to when you are also when you are speaking, you need what to, nonsense. You need I beg to you, check. I know the audience just do your, just do your side. I beg. Oga, please, can I uh, speak? I beg. Oga, can you mute? I muted you, only money. You are unmuting yourself again. Please. I don't want See. you guys to push me to the <clears throat> level I would start removing people from this platform because there are more people that want to come in. Please, no interjection. When it gets to your time, bullet point anything down, then respond accordingly. 
All these noise are making noise. It's ejecting everybody. We are not understanding what anybody is saying. It will get to your turn. Bullet point is the, 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 the whatever you want to re respond to. Bullet point it down. Come on, yeah, please go ahead. Okay. So I think you should caution yourself when you are also speaking. You're accusing people of everything that you are saying. So please take note on that. Then the second thing you said was that Peter the Rock will be that what is his essence? You said it a number of times. What is his essence? What is his essence? What he's doing, he can do it without being president. That because he's not the candidate that has been declared winner, we don't want anybody to hear what I'm summarizing. Mr. Tunaija. Mr. Tunaija, if I now direct, if I now say to you that you are speaking from both sides of your mouth, you will flip and get upset. Would it be unfair for me to call you a mole? Because you're acting like one. You've been here day and night with us, every day here. So does it mean that you're a mole, that you've been a mole all this time? Because that's what it's pointing to right now. You, can, you cannot, look at the person of Peter Obi, the essence of him. No leader in Nigeria matches him. None. None from 1960 to where we are matches the essence of Peter the Rock Obi. Nobody. That man, all he's come out to do is serve you and I. That's all he's asked to do. And you watch a man being robbed. We were all robbed because we are the ones who chose him. We were all robbed of our mandate. First of all, you're so insensitive to the feelings of everyone. You've been, it's almost like you've been rubbing salt to injury. You've been, you've been, you know, poking holes on people's injury over and over again as you speak. And you expect people to be quiet and listen to you. You cannot be talking to people like that. Like I said earlier, you shouldn't be on this platform right now. Because every word that is coming from your mouth is aggravating. It is extremely aggravating. You cannot be doing this. Stay on one side. Choose a side. I don't like double-minded people. Choose a side and stick to that side. There's no reason for the back and forth. We are supposed to be talking about unifying, strategizing, and finding solutions. And finding ways that we can carry our voices forward. Peter Obi does not have to tell you. What do you expect him to say? What do you expect him? Do you expect him to come out on camera and say, yeah, guys, get on the street. They stole him from us. Get on. Is that what you're expecting? The man is not going to ask for that. We, it, they stole something from us that we worked hard for. I worked for, hard, hard for this. I don't know about you. Maybe to okay. you it was all fun and games, but I worked hard for it. Okay. So okay. it's an, it, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I'm just going to, you will continue again. Let's quickly see what uh, Kenneth Koko is saying again. Okay. I'll, I'll continue from you again. Uh, please, guys, bear with us. Let's quickly do this. Um, thank you very much. Okay. Now, like I said, why I told him to read the law, if there were no penalty prescribed for the breaching of that law, I wouldn't have mentioned it. So what the law said is, if you breach all these things, you have committed an offense. So what I was just trying to do to say is that since we watched it, the whole Nigerians watched it, that INEC has committed an offense. And when you say INEC, in the presidential election, the returning officer in the presidential election is the INEC chairman. 
So because the law says the presiding officer or the returning officer. So in the issue of president, it's clear. So I was just saying that a breach of this prescribes that the person that has breached it has become, in the eyes of the law, a criminal, meaning he has committed an offense. So that was just what I was trying to say. Now, it is left for the court to punish the person, not me. But the first thing you do in criminal procedure, in procedure, is complaint. You must complain first. So you and I know without complaint. Uh -huh. But this one happened in everybody's eyes. So because this is Nigeria we're fighting for. So what I'm saying is that the law has to be followed. And the law made provision. If you don't follow it, you have committed an offense. That is just what I'm saying. Okay. Now, let, let's move ahead. What are the next steps for your party? Uh, yesterday, we were also live here when uh, we uh, went over uh, to uh, the press conference that was jointly held by your party, as well as the PDP. And not long after that, I think in, in, in within an hour, we saw uh, the running mates uh, to your uh, presidential candidate and the running mates to uh, the PDP presidential candidate also meet. Uh, this morning also, or just a, a few hours ago also, uh, you're running, the running mate to Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, did speak. What can we make out of all of this? Uh, from the results, the Labour Party has scored 6,101,533. Uh, those are the numbers of people that voted uh, for the Labour Party in 11 states and FCT, according to the electoral body. What are the next steps right now that we're expecting from the Labour Party amid the popery of those press conferences which you held yesterday as well as today? Yeah, first of all, you will agree with me that a new Nigeria has come. And so let me first of all thank all obedience for proving that we are not a social media sensation. Even in the result that INEC officials released, because that is not the people's result, like I said, uh -huh. that's the INEC officials' result. So, even in the result they released, His Excellency Peter Obi won in Lagos State, won in the pulling boot of the national chairman of APC, won in the pulling boot of the DG of the APC, won in the pulling boot of the spokesperson. Nobody got 25% in FCT, meaning they won the commercial nerve center and won the political capital. I wish they had given me the results of the people of Nigeria. I would have been the one celebrating and they would have been the one willing. But Nigeria is on a trajectory of a new Nigeria because I am happy with our performance I'm happy with the Nigerian people who gave us resounding victories, at least in these areas that I have shown, even by their own results. So the way forward is simple. Let them respectfully, because they still have seven days now to review what they have done. Let them respectfully, in good hearts, review their own mistakes. If they want us to get our agents, let them see their, the original results and give us our results within seven days. That's what the law says. The results we have is not in tandem with what they announced. And they did not confirm, verify with the beavers, the authenticity, correctness. Now, as days go by, we cannot make this demand because they would have doctored it. And it is not to give effect to the election. <laughs> the election would have to be reheld. Because why? There was no announcement in the polling unit, which makes it void. There was no, there, there was no transmission from the polling unit. There was no uploading. So it makes the whole thing void. It is deemed in the eyes of the law that what you are collecting is not what 
the people have done. Because the law is clear. Announce, count, announce, transfer from the polling unit. That was not done. So there was no election. But I would be happy if they at least review their quarter and proclaim us victorious. Then obedience will now go very well. So when they will reschedule the presidential election and vote massively again for Peter Obi. For now, there was no election because nobody has seen the result in the beavers. And the law is clear. Take your result from the beavers. If you want to collect, collect subject to what is in beavers. If you want to announce, announce subject to what is in beavers. If there is any dispute, reconcile it with what is in the beavers. And what is in the beavers prevails. There is no result in the beavers accredited anything until Mahmoud announced the results. So there was no election. So I am happy that from the doctor, have you asked yourself, why within 48 hours of an election, 48 hours, where Professor Mahmoud told us that we will get the result right on time, the same day, by his own words. But within 48 hours, it was only a kitty disputable result that Mahmoud was able to announce to the whole world. 48 hours. No beavers, anything. You, you must have seen in that equity result, we are February 20th, was the date they say the updated result no, no, uh, register. And then, it was on the 25th. Mr. Kopo, so, if I need to come in there, I need to cut you short there with what you just said because I heard the INEC uh, chairman uh, on that same day where he did speak about this equity issue and he reforced uh, that, uh, that. So I would say that is not true because the INEC chairman did speak about the same issue of the date February 20 that was on that. He did address this issue right now. But let me halt you a bit and come back yeah. Let me hold you. No, I come back. Yes. What I, okay. what I said is that okay. you must have heard. Sorry. I next chairman can only dispute that before Nigerians by referring to the beavers. He cannot come to orally tell us. That's the law. If anybody is disputing what he put out, he can't come to orally address anything. He should just tell us where it was uploaded. That this was announced that same day. This was transferred that same day, not on the 20th. And until he does that, and he can no longer do it, because they say from the pulling unit, I have the right to say or to allege that it was on okay. the 20th. Let him clarify me. Uh, With the beavers, what is the record in the beavers? Okay. Uh, he has not done it. Okay, let, let's, let, let, let's let's come back to our so guest. Let's come back to our you guest here in the studio. I will come back to I will come back to you. I will come back to you. Let's come back to Baristori. You've heard Kenneth Okonkwo. Yes. The part of what is making this issue very complicated is that I make by. All right. Uh, thank you very much, my people, for listening to Kenneth Okoko right there in uh, uh, AIT. Okay. Um, Omo Yesko, now please, I will ask you to go okay. ahead. Round up in two uh, minutes, please. Thank you. Okay. okay. So, um, as I was saying, Peter Obi, his essence has, is unmatched in the 60 years that Nigeria has gotten their independence. We are the people who chose Peter Obi to, to, to represent us as the president of Nigeria. We chose him because we believe in him. We believe in his vision. We believe that he's a transformational leader. So for you to sit there, Mr. Two Niger, and I'm highly offended by that, for you to sit there and come and try to commonize this man that you know nothing about, apart from the fact that he came out to offer his, his skills to Nigeria. We need to be very careful. We're all upset here. What you've done tonight is rub insults 
on other on people's injuries. That's what you have done. You've insulted our intelligence. You know, we're fighting a, a, a valid cause here that's going to benefit you and everybody else. Even with your lopsided views, it's going to benefit you. And here you are, any little thing, you're quick to say, the Nigerians are attacking, they are cursing, they are, they, everybody wants to, to, to burn down the country, everybody's doing You're saying the words for yourself. Nobody has said it here. You're not even considering Mr. Elvis, who owns Niger Watch. You're just throwing those words around. Do you know how sensitive it is for YouTube? This video can be taken down. You don't pay attention to that because Mr. Elvis just allows people to talk. We need to be careful. What we need is to unite as a people. Let's put our differences aside. We have a common enemy right now. Why can't we get together, strategize, and stand up? This man is not going to come out and tell us, go on. Why would he say that? If somebody takes something from you that does not belong to them, you know it is yours. You know how you fight for it. So why would you now, you, you beat a child and you want to tell the child how to cry? You know, sometimes I wonder, we're our own worst enemies. We keep complaining of our leaders, but we have a, 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 a litany of examples of terrible leaders amongst us. What is it? Please, let's co come together, decide what we want to do, look for solutions and do what we have to do to put pressure on these people press their necks until they give us what is ours thank, thank you Elvia. i yield. Thank, thank you very much for your wonderful submission right there okay uh guys um those of you trying to call in we are going to be back again this evening then i'm going to give opportunity to, opportunity for everyone to add their view you know but the people on the panel now i would like to give them the the chance to talk so we can round up this broadcast. You know, um can I just reply 30 seconds of what you just said? Um to Niger. Yeah, uh, yes, if you can do that with 10 seconds, like this. Second, second. So I didn't this um, um Niger watch how to caution somebody from you um, in using in this in um, violent terms and uh, even in uh, insulting terms. I never insulted anybody. What I'm saying is that we shouldn't resort to chaos. Even okay. the candidates, Peter B and Dati said it themselves. Or nobody is, nobody mentioned way. about resorting to chaos here, Mr. Two Niger. You he assume okay, that that's what they were what what saying. Right here. Ask him. Okay. I, um, guess what, though? You don't have to repeat it, though. You don't okay. have to keep repeating I'm and repeating that they should it. Not. Oh, what do you think they, they, they dislike what I'm saying? Because I'm saying they should not do it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Can I move on to other people here? We have uh, other um, people. Niger, Niger, can I speak, please? Uh, who is speaking? Only money. Yeah, it's your turn now. Uh, go ahead, talk to us. Um, I don't want to start uh, have, going into five minutes. Five minutes. Yes, I don't want to start talking to uh, to Niger. The guy, the guy should just figure himself out. As for us, we are figured who is he, and I'm not going to take any of anything furthermore he says from his mouth. Serious. I already know who is he, so I'll just be looking at him and just listening to what whatever he has to say. But let me just advise ourselves on another thing we should do in our course to pursue in pursuit of justice. I think we should use the power of the internet as well. So though some of us or friends and um, relatives or what you have that have uh, active um, Twitter spaces, um, Instagram as well, um probably facebook here yeah? it's twitter so let's put out let's, let's bombard the internet space with a lot of these evidences these proofs like just like we see them on the pages of um, blogs in on um, that is what i expect everybody to be talking about on instagram yeah just Bush like we have that person. go ahead just like we see them on instagram on bloggers and other people posting them so let's bombard the internet space especially the twitter space and let's tag the foreign nations, both the UN, or you have AU, and just think anyone you can think of, INEC and all that. So let's, let's bombard this week and let's keep up the momentum. I think that one will go a long way too, you understand? So it's not only all us, it's not only, all, it's only all, um, about speaking, hitting the road and protesting and all that. We should make use of the internal space as well. And I think 
is going to go a long way. I think it's going to really, really work for us. So that's what I have to contribute for now. Thank you. Thank you very much for making that brief. Thank you very much. And it makes a lot of sense. Thank you. All right. Um, I would like to quickly uh, move on to um, PSoft. Please, sir, you have your five minutes now. Hi. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, you see, uh, I'm really, really paid with what to Nigeria be saying, you know. Uh, I never expect all those uh, things from him, you know, those words. Uh, I understand somehow, you know, you can be a member of that party, of course. Uh, you know, you can be a member of that party, of course. You can talk like that, and also, but you need to understand that people are really, really hot. A lot of people want to kind of like, we want a better life. I mean, uh, 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 a lot of people are suffering. You should understand that people are suffering back home. Look at you, you, you know how much everything is expensive, you know. And then uh, uh, you see, I don't want to say much anymore, you know, because uh, thank you, let me not talk much, you know. Yeah, so thank you, everybody. I'll just thank be listening. You, and, uh, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Please endeavor to join us again this evening where we can, you know, talk. Sure, sure, sure. I'll be right there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, Mano Bendel, thanks very much for your patience. You've never interjected since you've just been there. Thank you. Please talk to us in five minutes. Or oh, Lester. I think, uh, um, good afternoon, everybody. I just decided to listen because uh, everybody was uh, already saying something close to what I was thinking and all that. But uh, just to highlight a few things, I'm sure that uh, it will be important for those that voted to demand that their votes uh, count. Because uh, everything that has happened, especially last night, uh, confirms the fact that uh, INEC is taking them for a ride. That's one. And about the presidential candidate, uh, Mr. Peter Obi, I think he has a lot of experience on this kind of fights. So let's just leave him there, let him do his thing. But the young people, the millions of young people that were disenfranchised, they should ask the appropriate authorities what happened to their votes through organized protest. That's the only way I think they can make uh, sense, especially asked, ask INEC the important questions. I want also, I want us to draw our attention to the lacuna that the chairman, I don't know his name, whether it's Madud, exposed yesterday because I watched that thing throughout the night. He was saying that this coalition is going to consider only manual, uh, um, what do you call it, submission. And that is the, the, the guideline. He was saying it on air which means that they know what they are doing. That's why they shut down the beavers. Because somewhere in the law or in the guidelines, they have played with it because they have a, a room to make laws for themselves. To now use the manual one, which, with which they, they confused everybody and got this nonsense that we are all uh, fighting against now. So... Okay. I I hope that they can question him. How come you were speaking in Chatham House, you were talking about electronic uh, submission, and just last night you were now saying that the manual is what is relevant. How do you reconcile these two statements? Because, in fact, that was a crime scene yesterday. It it was a crime scene. And as we speak now, I think it's 3 p.m., he said they will be giving um, um, Agbado, they will be giving him the certificate of return, or I don't know what they call it, to, to confirm yeah, that he... 
they are do, they are going to start that now in the next uh, five ten minutes. But I, I I'm not okay. part of that. I'm not going to. Okay, so yeah, just to tell you that these guys had a program and a script, and they 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 they, they basically did what they wanted to do without even considering the millions of young people that voted and some even lost their lives. Okay. And these are the people whose future matters, not Agbado, not this chairman, not Buhari, not anybody else. Thank you. Thank you very much, man of Bende. Thank you. All right. Uh, for those of you telling me that they want to give certificate to Tinubu, I we don't have time to go uh, 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 to go on with that, but this evening we'll be coming to analyze everything again. So uh, we need to end this broadcast uh, now. But let me move on now to political. Uh, uh, Oshie, please talk to us quickly, under five minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you very much, everybody. And uh, those who are sharing their lights, God bless you. Uh, Niger Watch, God bless you all. Um, I just want to chip in only three things. One is... Um, with the way I'm seeing things here, I don't want to speak against anyone. It's making us even scared to bring our um, ideas because our ideas can be uh, countered later, just like I spoke uh, previously. When we start talking about the things that we need to do, because we need to do something now, and we have to start now so that it will not be too late. So now I'm even scared to even give my ideas because I'm feeling that somebody here or somebody around here is like a mole trying to steal that idea or trying to um, make it uh, like trying to steal it and wait for us. So when we get to the junction, they're like, I already know what you're coming with. Then another thing is um, people have already said they have already spoke wonderfully bravely but um i would like to say those who want to protest please they should have the nigerian flag with them big ones not just the one on the hand anyone that can afford the small one can afford but please if they are going to make a protest make sure you have nigerian flag with you and you should swear it high when you are making the protest not just placards please it will go a long way to curb some um um, evil activities. It's, it's very spiritual, you understand? Then another thing is, please let us love ourselves. Please, all this fighting cannot solve anything. It's not about the political, it's not about Labour Party, it's not about P2B. It's about us, about our children. I want my children to have a wonderful future. And Nigeria has the um, capacity to do that. We can. It's just that we have these few bad eggs that don't want this nation to move forward. But we together can achieve this. We don't need to fight. This is what they want. They want us to fight each other and they will continue what they are doing, the charades they are doing over there. Let us, if it's privately, bring out our ideas and move and don't uh, spill everything out for the okay. um, evil one to get it. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. All right, uh, uh, true story. Are you still there with us? Okay, let's move on to um, um, Mr. Pansatz. Mr. Pansatz. Okay, you are here. Okay, please quickly talk to us under five minutes. Thank you. Okay, okay. So, what I uh, come to what our brother just said, you understand? So, the way everything is going now, we should be very careful. So, because uh, I'm so upset about uh, what we are doing, you understand? So, it, it, it baffled me more that we that live in diaspora. I always use that word because there are some people in diaspora. This the the way they treat them, the way they the way we the way they treat us here is like they don't count it as something. You understand? We are in a borrowed land. You know, we are not we are not welcome here. No matter how we try to pretend. You understand? I have three kids for white. I know how they treat us. All they all they do is just when they needed you. We are African. We need to fight for our country. If our country is better, we everybody have to move back home. We are not happy where we are. I said before that the people that can be able to swallow what they are passing through in where they are. Because I believe that all of us here that we are talking now, few is only few that live in Nigeria. 
You understand? We did not know the pain. I went to Nigeria just last year. My phone was stolen. You cannot even, you can't even move. You can't even dress. You can't even, in fact, which, I, I'm so disappointed uh, through Niger, through where, whatever. I, I'm so disappointed. You understand? Because the, the place we live now is that we are living on a, 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 a as a house, house, house app is living in your house if it is not being treated well. Why can't we fight for our own country to be better as we all are always do? This same thing come up when we are fighting for uh, uh, land grabbing. Why are we so so selfish to, to be blind that we don't know what we have to say at the right time? Our country is on fire. People are suffering. We we are the one that has the, the crude oil. We bought oil. We don't even have. We don't even have light. We don't have good roads. No hospital. I was pregnant in, when I was in Nigeria with twins. I lost one in Nigeria. You are telling me that that country we should not fight for it? I have to change my ticket to come back with, so that one of them can be able to be saved. Okay. Uh, it's painful. It's painful. It's so hard. It's so torture. If you, if, if you have not been to Nigeria hospital, that you come here to say anything. My brothers and sister, please. Our people are suffering right in Nigeria. They are suffering. I give birth on the 2nd of January. If not from this country, I could have lost this one too. Please, let's watch what we say. It's so, it's so hot. It's so hot. It's okay. It's okay, madam. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, that's our plight. That's our pains. Uh, and many are passing through it. That's why we were fighting for a better Nigeria. The way it looks like now, there's no better Nigeria. Say that it is. Thank you. Um, Mr. Panzer, please use your five minutes. Talk to us, sir. Stick to your five minutes, sir, please. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, Miss, Miss uh, True Story, Lady P, congratulations on your baby. Don't worry. Sit tight. Uh, and indeed, all the youth, obedience, everybody who went there and did it. We did it. We voted. And we won. There was, we should be celebrating right now, no matter what. This is not a gloomy day. This is not a gloomy day. We have a great country. We have, a, we have great people. We, we, you should see people clamoring to vote, stay in lines. They came out. They, they thought the youths can't do it. They, they won't be able to go out there. They were there. Some of them till the wee hours of the night to cast their votes. And uh, of course, certain logistics is uh, it's forgivable, but to boldly stick a finger at us, try to steal our mandate in front of us in a manner that what can you do? You cannot do anything. Maybe you're gonna go and peacefully protest, and maybe you go to the Supreme Court and and they, they're going to uh, take months or years to make a decision. Well, that's for the candidate, but we're citizens, though. So, look, we should be proud of ourselves. This no, I, I, When I heard you, Mr. Najawaj, you should never feel the way you've done marvelous work. You've led us here very, very well. You, you, you make you, I said to myself, if I'm in a leadership position, even if I'm the president of the United States, my job will be easy because all I have to do is to deal with the truth. Stay on the side of righteousness. And that's exactly what you've been doing here. You make the call, no matter who it is. Even me, when I uh, step out of line here. Of course, I don't step out of line. But when people make you believe that I do step out of line, you, you, you do the right thing. So uh, it's also, let me uh, bring in to Niger in here, because I've watched him certain times defend the cause and made me proud. But of course, he relapses to these silly arguments that he sets up. It's like if, I, if I'm somewhere, maybe I'm running a marathon, and you're talking about having a beer, and I say, hey, look, I'm running a marathon, then you go, hey, this guy doesn't like beer. No, we're here to talk about our mandate that's been stolen. You're talking about development. Our dignity is not in the buildings. 
we want to protect the God-given liberty. There are things that were endowed by God, and we're being denied these things in Nigeria. Why? Today, every Nigerian should be proud of what P2B and the team did. Everybody knows they won that election, so I'm watching the United States. That's who I'm watching. This time around, you're going to see me. I'm watching what they do because that's the solution. That's the silver bullet. That is the panacea. At least comment. Say something. You, you say you're demo, you, you, you go all over the world talking about democracy. But uh, uh, Mr. Panzer, you Just can go. organize a, 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 a peaceful protest in America as well. I am going to. I, okay, I, I may not organize one, but I'm going to. Talk to some people, so because yeah, it's very that important. is what we have to do. Those we of are us are in the UK as well. We we are so silly here because this administration should be held responsible. Even Trump, who I thought at least he's somebody who doesn't want Muslims to be menacing everywhere. The fundamentalist ones. Now, when you talk about it, it's like you're being religious. What's religious about it? If ISIS is going out there cutting off people's necks, you're supposed to stop them. And he did. So what about Nigeria? Uh, th this administration, or even Trump's administration, was against everything Obama did, except Obama putting in a, mi a military dictator, a killer, geriatric person. Obama put him there to take over from a Christian gentleman who, who, who wasn't perfect. But how do you bring Buhari to come and replace Jonathan? You have to understand that if the United States and its mission in Nigeria doesn't want somebody to be in power in Nigeria, they, they can't. Now, somebody like Tunaja will say, hey, you're going to rely on white folks. Why not? Look at our people. Look at what we're doing. Trouble. Foolish. You, you have P2B. You go to somewhere like Zamfara. And they don't have enough people to vote. They're choosing between Obi and 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 the Tinibu. Okay. Thank and you, you cannot make a decision. Thank you. So please let me just conclude by saying to Niger, you are in the, you are inside. You, you you shouldn't be a friend for the good times. We're being challenged. Our votes are being stolen. This is not even close. So the electoral act right now, what we should have been talking about is that the INEC. It's in violation of the Electoral Act on transmission of results from polling units, Section 64. You, you know, Okonkwo was talking about Section 60, Subsection 4, 5, 6. But you go down to the Section 64 of the Electoral Act itself on the transmission of results. It goes all the way down to the 64, Subsection 4A. Number of accredited voters stated on the collected result are correct okay. and consistent with the number okay, of Mr. accredited Panther. voters. Thank you. I wanted to, I wanted to make this point so people can no, read it. No, we don't have the time, sir. All right. Thank you very quick. much. Round up quick. Well, I, if I'm going to round up, I want people to see it is the law. Like he was emphasizing, it's the law. You cannot do that, especially in front of us, the people. But and, sir, just don't your finger the law. Right. Huh? They don't respect the law in Nigeria. No. Okay, well, I, I'm not one of those who are going to be admonishing somebody say, oh, you don't respect the law. You don't. Well, we have to do something about it. There has to be consequences. Yes. That's, yes, that's, that's where that. I differ from almost everybody in Nigeria. Okay? Yes, you but it's not working. You know, I have the same mindset, you know, of law, but the law is not working there. Well, well who's going to make the law work? It's the, the person that's supposed to make the law work, they just deny him now. No, but if they, if they didn't, it's just like, okay, you watched a, a, a trained journalist groveling, treating the ANEC chairman like he's KBAC or something. He's challenging a lawyer, trying to tell him to apologize because apparently he's insulting uh, his KBAC, uh, his right? He, he's worshipping the ANEC chairman, a public servant, okay. and he's disgracing Let's his guest. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Thank you, Mr. President. And we're just going to be Thank letting you. them do that. Thank you, Mr. Pansat. Let's move on. Um, the last person here that just joined us right now, Mr. T. Uh, we are rounding up now, so but you're still going to have your five minutes. Good morning to you. 
please quickly talk to us although you're gonna have enough time to talk later when i come back in the evening but you can still have the five minutes talk to us my brother uh thank you very much mr elvis uh good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching from from all over the world and the comment section the battle is not over yet until it is over i believe that mr peter will be is working out something. And Nigerians won't just fold their arms at their arms and sit down and watch this man they stolen from us. The only painful thing that I feel this morning is to have had some people that you think are your friend, but they are your enemies. The same youth like you and I trying to fight for the liberation and liberty of Nigeria going all over the places. If they are on this place, they act like they are for you. If they go somewhere else, they say different thing. I was in a church service yesterday and I was saying to my Eastern brother in the church after the service, that finally we're gonna get a Southeast person to represent us as a president because I know that after Peter B wants FCT, nothing else for them only to see that Mahmoud Yaku stole the mandate of the people. And here you have some people that lives in a country where they don't take their lives, their roads are good because some people in that country build that country for them. And Nigerians, some Nigerians, some Nigerians that are opportunists are sit in those countries. And you are saying, what is the essence of Peter Obi? Let me not say some words this morning because some people, posterity will not forgive some people. Growing up as a child back home in West Africa, Nigeria, we agree. Mr. T, Mr. T please hold on one minute. Uh, hello, guys. Um, I've just posted uh, three links. I don't want you to think it's the same because three posts have been put on the comment session across all the three platforms where we're streaming right now. Is a petition click on each one it's three don't worry the link is coming directly from us it's safe click on it sign it it's very very important sign that link uh so that um, justice can be done sign the link click on it sign it some of you might have done it already but if you know you have not done it it's three links in each platforms click on it and sign it so that we can have justice god bless you please go ahead um Thank you, Mr. Elvis. If that is from change.org, I did my last night when I was with Omar. Yes, so it's three, it's three. One yeah. for INEC, uh, uh, one for the uh, Mahmoud Yakub, and, Mahmoud then, Yacoubo, uh, and one for Wiki. Yes, I, I, I did sign mine yesterday. Okay, so right. as I was saying, right. growing up as a child, I'm trying to interrupt you, uh, was, please. Where did you send the link to? Is it our platform or no, 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 the comment section where you are watching us from now? Go okay, to okay, 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 yeah, thank you. We used to have good hospital, we used to have good roads, we used to believe in morals, but now everything is being derailed. And you see some people live in diaspora and you think that that woman that had that that's supposed to be carrying her twins will sit down and watch you say what is the essence of peter will be you fellow nigerians speaking like this come on people what has happened to us what has happened to us then are you different from from the people that stole the money of the people from them on the brother light Somebody went to vote. They stab her in the face and said, no, until I give my vote for Peter Obi, I will not, I will not go. That tells you the sacrifice that Nigerians made. And you're asking what is the essence of Peter Obi? How dare you ask that question? How dare you ask that question? How dare you ask that question? How dare you? The brother died in broad daylight. And somebody is presenting to you a Muslim, Muslim ticket and you say, it doesn't matter. Monday market was born down in my degree, my degree after, after the election. People dying in their numbers. I served in Bauchi State in 2009, 2010. That was when Boko Haram started. 
and you think I will sit down here in the Western world because I'm, I'm in Texas, I will forget my I will forget Nigeria where I was where I was born and, and, br and brought up. I may have a blue passport, but my green passport is very, very important to me. It is daring to me. And you're asking, what is the essence of Peter Obi? Because you sit down somewhere to enjoy their facility. Posterity may not forgive some of you. Posterity may not forgive, may not forgive some of you. A court member died during the election, said, I will not, I will not allow them to steal this vote. They killed her. Some people signed, they signed, they signed the resource sheet at the gunpoint. And you are asking what is the essence of Peter Obi? No wonder there's no more moral in Nigeria. Because people cannot speak from, their, from the two sides of their mouth. They shut down history in Nigeria. But some of us have three years old here in, in America that are already, they are studying about Martin Luther King. They are studying about Rosa Park. But history is being shut down in Nigeria. And you are asking, what is the essence of Peter Obi? I'm a Southwestern person. And I believe in, in, in the integrity of Peter B. And you are asking that question. Okay. Thank you. You should ask yourself, Thank what you. is my essence in life? If I cannot stand for the truth, come on, people. What has gone, what has gone on with us? For days I've not had good sleep, hoping that this election will, will, will be called in our favor because he already won FCT. And you are asking, what is the essence of Peter B when a drug lord is going to be, become your president? The father of doubt is going to become your president. Have you seen what he's done in Lagos State? Come on, people. In case you guys are not aware, it's a Yoruba man that is talking right now. A Yoruba man. And you are asking what is the essence of Peter Obi? Come on, people. What has gone wrong with us? How have we so how have we lost our mind and our conscience sold because of money? Please, uh, Mr. T, use one, mi one minute. Please keep to that one minute. Use Yoruba to speak. Finish your last statement. Just Yoruba. One minute. Nigeria. <laughs> Awa Yoruba gon ajiya. Ta ba di de. Bo yo wani Canada. Abo wani America. Abo wani UK. Bo go petit yon man sign. Jo sign ye. A le woki en ton fag. Ton fag bo. Tabi ton fag buru. Ko je president in Nigeria. E nyi Christian leaders. E di de. Ah, le ma wo no kinye njiri a ba de lo ju wa. E di de. You are asking the essence of Peter Obi. Do you know what okay. that means? That is, you are Thank asking you. what is the essence of a man. Thank are you. His, are you his creator? Join me later. Join me later. Do you know what it means? <clears throat> Join me later, my brother. I, under, I feel your pains. Come on. I understand. Um, Come on. Thank you, my people. You should, not, you should not be on this planet this morning to Ninja. You should go away. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have somebody just joining us right now. Uh, I'm going to give you one minute to quickly talk to us. Hello. Uh, you're not wearing any shirts. You need to wear shirts to come here. <laughs> you know, me, this media doesn't support that. Put on your shirt. I'll wait for you. Don't worry. Quickly do that. <clears throat> So that I can give you one minute to talk to us. This is sad. Before we have him back to talk to us, uh, I would like to quickly go for a quick break. Thank you. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Okay. 
All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Slim Wiz. Thanks for joining us. Where are you joining us from? Can you unmute yourself? Click unmute yourself. You are muted. Sorry. Okay, good. Where are you joining us from? Sorry, I'm joining from Inugu State. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Talk to us. What is the situation like over there? As you know that uh, Tinubu have been declared as a president-elect. What's your take on that? Quick. Uh, sorry for the for coming late. I would say is that I'm not happy at all because I neck I neck official like the INEC chairman is manipulating everything upside down. Okay. Even here in Enugu, Enugu are very cool area which so many states know. But like now, nobody even get joy like have any single joy. As they declare uh, Tinibu the win of the presidential election. So for me, I'm not even happy at all. Let, let them just tell us how come they provide that 200 and something million thousand voters. And we need to know where our failure came from. Because a, a, kitty, a kitty that I know is not up to that such. Okay, look at it now. Uh, the P2B get 11 point something, 11,000 something. Tinibu, 200 and something voters. Uh, APC, I mean PDP, 89 voters, which I don't, I'm not even expecting such from a kitty state. So for here in Enugu, nobody have time to even accept that man as the president, a president now. Like my own town now, we are even protesting for the election, which is getting hot every day by the year. So that is all I have to contribute now. Sorry. Thank, thank, thank you very much, my brother. I appreciate you for coming here to express your, your, your concern, your plight, your disappointment over the Nigerian government. It's so fortunate that all, every one of us are disappointed over the kind of leaders that we have. You know, this is the only opportunity that came in now for us to change the narrative of the country. But we have been robbed. You know, we have been robbed. Um, yes, let's continue to, to showcase our plight in every uh, angles we know we can do. You guys in Nigeria, I think you guys should think of what you guys want to do. But meanwhile, uh, you're going to have enough time to talk to us later on because I'm going to be back here again uh, by 7 or 8 p.m. in Nigeria time where we can extensively uh, talk about all this again. Thank you very much, uh, Slim, for joining us. Okay, thank you, yeah, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, uh, everybody that, that is right there, we need to round up right now. Uh, we are going to be back again later on. Somebody asking for the link uh, to sign. I've, I've just resend another one. Let me send uh, uh, it's three link. I sent one just now. Let me send another one again. Click on the link. Sign this petition. Uh, it's very, very important to reverse this decision, this satanic decision from these people. We need to reverse it. Please sign. Sign it. It's very, very important. Uh, I'm posting another one now. Another one I've been posted. Let's post the last one, please. Everybody should click on it. Sign it. Uh, this last one is for Wiki. For all of them to be banned from traveling, from the, for the election to be reversed, and uh, all their medical treatment, everything should be banned. But we need to sign this thing in one voice for this to happen. This petition is very, very important. Uh, please. Let's do this, my people. All right. Um, it's time to go now. Okay, I can see Dr. Alexander Gomez just joining us right now. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Unfortunately, we need to round up in the next one minute. But uh, uh, quickly talk to us, sir. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Um, morning. I, I woke up this morning listening to everybody, and I could hear the pain and the dismay in everybody's voice. Uh, I called him because of Mr. T.I., I heard him break down, and that kind of broke my heart. Um, I know a lot of people have invested in this political space emotionally, including yourself. Uh, people are in pain. Uh, people are they've, uh, they, they've lost directions. They don't know what they're going to do anymore. Um, I am sorry people are feeling like that. Uh, we come from a very... Uh, 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 dysfunctional society. So things like this uh, would not be out of the norm. I just called in to, to, to say that I am 
truly feeling the pain of everybody on the platform and I and I wish everybody the best of luck. Uh, it's it's sad to hear people speak like this. And Mr. T, I, let me speak my language to you. And no more yes, corner, you understand my language too, so I'm going to speak it to you. In 10 seconds. Yeah. But most importantly, uh, going forward, uh, uh, to Nigeria, you were very insensitive today. And you Sir, have this whole... We need to go effect. now. We have okay. 30 seconds. Okay, to Nigeria, you're very sensitive today. You need to do something about this, you're holier than that attitude. It's not going to get you anywhere, my friend. It's not. Thank you very much for having me. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. It's very good to have you here. Uh, Kingsley, I can see you just joining us. Unfortunately, you can't air your voice right now, but join us by 8 p.m. in Nigerian time, and I'll give you opportunity to talk, okay? All right? You, you are even muted. You are muted, Kingsley, but we need to go right now, okay? Don't worry. Uh, hello. Join us later. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Well, minute, join us by 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Thank you, everybody. We need to go now. God bless you all. Um, by 8 p.m., I'm going to be back here. Bye for now, everyone. Thank you.